they have received a loan, $700 million plus, uh, to begin manufacturing drugs under the Defense Production Act. That's KODK. It's closed at 262, now at 767 in the pre market, Kilo Alaska Delta Kilo. It looked like pretty decent trailers for a uh, pretty good move. TSLA Tesla in a filing company says as part of various TSLA, governmental responses Tesla, to the pandemic company says received certain payroll related benefits that's TSLA Tesla says was granted relief in June for one year deferral with respect to Gigafactory New York lease agreement that's TSLA Tesla
NMRD, Nomura Medical, files for 1.6 million share offering of current common stock and warrants to purchase up to 793,103 shares of common stock. That's November Michael Romeo Delta. IBCP reporting 67 cents. The estimate was 25 cents. India Bravo, Charlie Papa, Independent Bank Corp, Michigan. FELE, Franklin Electric, Fox Trot Echo, Lima Echo. Franklin Electric reporting. 54 cents. The estimate was 45 cents for FELE. <clears throat> Sales of 308.3 million is a beat for Franklin Electric, FELE. XELA, MasterCard request to pay solution powered by Excellus Software, receives an enrollment confirmation from pay.uk, that's XELA, X-ray Echo Lima Alpha. Getting a pop on that. CRNC, Serence, and what three words reinvent voice powered navigation? Charlie Romeo, November Charlie, CRNC.
LRMR, Laramar Therapeutics, announcing positive opinion on orphan drug designation received from EMA for CTI 1601 to treat Friedrich's ataxia. That's Lima Romeo, Michael Romeo. BB, BlackBerry to, a pow to power autonomy systems in Canoe's next generation electric vehicles. That's Bravo, Bravo, BlackBerry. CATC, Cambridge Bank Corp reporting $1.32 in earnings. Charlie Alpha Tango, Charlie. TWST, Twist Biosciences, launching two SARS-CoV-2 antibody panels to expedite research for COVID-19. Tango Whiskey, Sandy Tango. NMRD, Nomura, uh, pricing their offering at seven twenty five. Share is at seven twenty five now. So, uh, closed at nine twenty six on Monday. NMRD, November Michael Romeo Delta. NOVN, NOVAN President and CEO Paula Brown Stafford named Chairman, November Oscar Victor November, NOVN. MGEN, Mirajen and investigators from Goth University and University Hospital Frankfurt and Survey published MRG 110 Phase 1 Pharmacodynamic Biomarker Data in the Nucleic Acid Therapeutics. That's Michael Golf Echo November, MGEN. A uh, CDMO, Charlie Delta Michael Oscar, Avid Biosciences and Argonaut Manufacturing Services enter agreement to offer biotech and pharma clients integrated process de development, drug substance manufacturing, and drug product parenteral manufacturing. That's Charlie. Delta, Michael Oscar, CDMO.
Benzinga market update, S&P futures down 11, the Dow futures down 124, NASDAQ down 46, crude is down 9 cents at 41.51, gold down $11.50 at IATA sees air traffic and revenue passenger kilometers recovering to 2019 level in 2024 versus 2023 in previous forecast.
shares of Eastman Kodak continuing to hit new highs now at 840. KODK. Kodak share is now up about 220% at the high KODK. RTX Raytheon CFO says continues to see 1.2 to 1.4 billion of one-time cash cost between Q2 and Q4. Romeo Tango X-ray.
BEN, Franklin Resources, Bravo Echo November reporting 70 cents. The estimate was 55 cents for BEN, Bravo Echo November. ECL, Echo Charlie Lima, Echo Lab reporting 65 cents. The estimate was 85 cents for Echo Charlie Lima, Echo Lab. LW, Lamb Weston, Lima Whiskey. Lamb Weston reporting a loss of a penny. The estimate was earnings of 15 cents for LW. CTSH, Charlie Tango, Sandy Hotel, Cognizant to acquire new signature. Cloud Native Business uh, Company. CTSH, Charlie Tango, Sandy Hotel. OSIS, OSI Systems, receives $5 million order to provide medical sensors. Oscar Sandy, India Sandy. VRME, Victor Romeo, Michael Echo, Verify Me, and Smart Glyph, one partnership to integrate technologies and market digital security. That's Victor Romeo, Michael Echo. VREX, company naming a new CFO, Victor Romeo, Echo, X-Ray. CORT, Corsept, initiating phase three trial of relicordinant in patients with Cushing syndrome of adrenal origin. That's CORT, Charlie Oscar Romeo Tango. WKHS, workhorse receives HVIP eligibility from California Air Resource Board. That's Whiskey Kilo Hotel Sandy.
now. There we go. Morning, guys. How we doing? Hope everybody had a good evening last night. We've got Bart on the horn today. He's with us. Morning. Hopefully everybody can hear me. Hopefully. I think they should be okay. Let me turn it up just a little bit. So, guys, I'm going to let Bart do the recap for the ES. I did a little looking at gold. Uh, we had a little morning powwow this morning regarding uh, the ES. And as you guys know who were with us yesterday, we're basically back in the same fucking shit we were at yesterday. So I'll let Bart kind of give us a little synopsis there. Okay, so the bigger target that we had up there for ES was that 3244. So yesterday we ran up, it might have been the feeling that there was a little bouncing around. But again, uh, holding those lows all the way from 92, the bigger target once we gained 3219 was to get to 3244. So that action over there at 3244, if you look at it, fits it's also with the RTH low of Wednesday. And we ended up losing that, and then also Tuesday's RTH low, which is lower um, at the 39. But there was a, you know another confirmation by losing two RTH lows that were moving down. So from a bigger perspective, that 3244, we would know that we're above uh, the 19 number. So we came down, and obviously in that direction to play that, and is what we're holding right now. I say an issue, it's not an issue, you just need to know how to play it. So where we're at right now is we're inside of yesterday's range, and we have the high. We cannot go higher, obviously, until we get past uh, the 33s. And then we also have the low of yesterday's range, which is in the old sevens. So technically, we are in balance, and we would be looking to play the extremes. If the 19 holds, there's nothing wrong with playing a short as we move up. Um, but you would have the correct expectations not to think, hey, just because we're at 19, we're going to go all the way to 67. Uh, with FMOC on Wednesday and being in balance, and also within uh, the value areas, uh, let's just say around the 16 area up to the 29s, you're going to need to be able to get above that as well as the RTH high of 33s. So playing that high value area, looking for it to stall in that area and playing a short back down into the middle into 24s in that area would be the safest play or vice versa. If we drop back down, lose 14, regain 14, let's get back up into those 23, 24 area. So really we're balanced, I guess, is the point that I want to say right now. Uh, you have the correct expectation. So when we fell back down, it was a little early at in-play 19. But again, referencing numbers that you'll hear me say these over and over, we actually ended up holding Thursday low, which was 14.25. We didn't quite get there, but that's what it held. And now it's moving back up, gaining 19 in that area. So I played that off of 18. Um, there is the value area down there holding that, and then not expecting it to go way up to stop us at 22 and that the hell out of that. Um, because we're in balance again in the middle. I don't like playing in the middle of ranges. It can be death and chop and back and forth. So balance tells us play the high side into the 30s for shorts, play the low side when we're down into the 10s for longs, and that, that's from that perspective from a contextual. And then uh, Ryan will add in some more precision levels that he's looking at to fit in with what I'm saying. Absolutely. So you guys know we talked, for those of you guys who were around yesterday, you know my feelings on certain particular levels, and I'm just going to pull up the four hours so we can look at this a little bit more. 16 was our four hour support to the high. Again, this is a very crucial level. This is what we're playing right now. Um, this would have been a, a great long, and my assumption was is uh, that we would probably come up and touch 26. Guys, we know what 24 is, 23, 24. That's the weekly daily support to the all time high. We know this is a huge number. And then again, we have the other number that I've been focusing on, which is 32. Um, this is the other previous four hour support to the high. So, you know, guys, with that, with all this being said, you have to take this into context, what we what we gained and then we lost it last night. So coming back down and holding 16 is big. Don't get me wrong. Um, but that doesn't like bars. So that doesn't mean we're going to climb all the way back up. Um, you know, we're kind of just in the shit right now, especially 
opening in yesterday's uh, value area. Um, I'm expecting a lot of balance, and like he reminded me of, we got FOMC. Um, I would definitely, to me, it looks like it's almost a little coming down a little lower. Now, it does, doesn't mean that's what's going to happen, but obviously, guys, you know, if we lose 16, you know, there's no reason that we won't test the 3200. So, I do want you guys to keep in mind this because we're open in range and in balance. Um, we should be able to play both sides of this, and uh, don't expect uh, well, don't expect a lot. I guess is what I'm getting at. Uh, so just try to take what you can out of this monster here. But just to kind of reiterate, just to show you, 16, 32, and then once we get above 32 and above in the 36s, then we start gaining this uh, four-hour support to the high here. So. It's just all about walking it up, guys, at this point. So now I'm going to show you a little something here as far as what I'm looking at. Uh, One last thing just to right. add. So obviously I use the NQ as a reference. Um, NQ right now is holding 606. Um, so that's important. It's going to have to drop that to push us down. So if we lose 606 on NQ, obviously we're going to be losing 19 on ES and pushing us down. Um, we have the high of 662 for the RTH high, saying we'd be looking at the high for ES over there at 3350. So in order to go up, we're going to have to gain that as well. So we NQ is in yesterday's range area as well, back and forth. Nice. So I have some fresh untested levels that we'll see how they play out, guys. I have uh, a level here at 26, which coincides with our swing pivot high. Uh, you know, looking for potential short there. I'm not as excited of, of it be coming off of 16, but because I am expecting some back and forth today, I might take it with a tight stop. We'll see. Uh, obviously, we've got a, a nice fresh two hour up here at 35, which is 36, which needs to be gained. More than likely, we'll get a reaction. And then here's ultimately with the high lost up here, which is between 41 and 42, which I have a four hour and a two hour level up here. This is very significant. I'm definitely looking to short the shit out of this if we come up here, uh, no question about it. Uh, once again, look, here's our 24 playing out. Uh, I do want to point this out. I looked at this just a little bit this morning for you guys who like gold. Uh, we came down last night and we tested that weekly support that we talked about last week. It was actually a one hour as well. We popped up. Um, this is what the high loss last night. I'll probably take this short scalp myself. I don't know. I'll probably have to average into it. Uh, I would normally go full size, but because the distance here, we're looking at 58, could possibly go up to 65. That's 60 ticks. Probably going with half size on micros and then averaging on the other half here. But um, this is without a doubt with the Globex high loss. This should give us, I would think, somewhere in the neighborhood of 8 to $10 worth of reaction. Um, should bring us back to support uh, somewhere between 45 and 35 Anyways, um, we had a very tight open and close yesterday. Um, gold wasn't able to make a move during RTH session. If you guys noticed, um, the RTH sessions have been very tight and they're having to push this up during Globex, which is usually um, a sign that liquidity is getting soft if they have to push it up in low volume time. So something to keep in mind uh, as well, that we were getting a lot of the action at night and uh, days have been pretty solid, or days have been pretty pretty tight so I am looking for this area uh, I've got an alarm set here I will more than likely short this area we'll see bulls on a, or golds on a massive bull run so I could I could be in for trouble but as you guys can see playing this weekly this weekly close uh, it was a one hour you know there's gonna be a lot of momentum coming off of this because this is the last untested weekly and daily before the all-time high we've clearly made an all-time high now we've came down and we've tested this as support. So there is some danger here shorting this. There's no question about it. Just knowing where we're coming from, uh, which is probably why I won't go super heavy on it. But, you know, if I can scalp, you know, 70 or 80 ticks on this, uh, I certainly will. So I just wanted to kind of throw that out there for you guys that are watching some metals. Uh, I was all over this this morning. Um, crude, I didn't get a chance to really take a, an excellent look at crude. Um, we did yesterday, guys, I just, just so you know. Crude was falling out, and I was just looking because, you know, yesterday I didn't get to pay much of attention. We came down, and we actually tested an untested daily and four-hour to the tick. Uh, at It was at 49. We came to 48, and we popped up some fears. So uh, I wasn't watching this yesterday. I, yesterday was uh, something else. So long story short, I haven't done a whole lot of investigative work on crude today. I do have one uh, fresh untested level here at 4060 that may play out that I might just put something small on. 
we did we're coming off the daily made a new local high um, coming down here and playing this uh, this trend start or whatever you want to call it uh, this this pivot would be uh, probably your best uh, chance for a long here if you wanted to uh, throw some scratch at it so keep in mind 40 60 I might even set an alarm here just to remind myself and that's about it for now Thanks, Ryan. Yes. And now back to you, Bart. <laughs> ah, there's your answer. Uh, yep. Cup and handle, Scalposaurus. <laughs> yeah, it is. It, it would be. Yeah, you're right. You're right, Scalp Source. You are certainly correct. Clear cup and handle on the ES. Let's look and see. Well, I see what you're looking at. You know, my... I just know that we haven't lost anything, right? Technically speaking. Um, but I'm not convinced that this is a big push yet. I'm really just not convinced. Uh, holding 16 was big for me. I'll repeat it again. Um, but you know, we still need to test 3200-ish. Um, but like Bart was saying, there's no reason that at some point in time we can't come all the way up to uh, 67. So you know, I, I do have some levels up here that uh, I'm looking to get short. Um, just for a scalp if we if we start moving up that direction so we'll see what happens here but it kind of looks like it wants lower to me today at least to come down into here but we'll see how it plays out holding this right now this so you have one time frame down and we can't get above so this is just a stall on that last little push down top from 33 as well Nika the right side of that upside down cop yeah, that was the hourly scalp of source. That's that's the hourly I was showing. Yeah. So, but to me, I mean, like, take a look at this. Like, this looks like, look at this big ass M, right? So they pushed it down into the M. They came back up. The M was a great sign that they were going to bring it down, which they did. They couldn't lose it. Um, so, yeah, I don't know if they're going to be able to lose it. Period. Um, that's the thing. After they didn't find any more sellers back down at 92. For the fucking tenth time in a row, um, yeah. I mean, we don't like the news, so to speak, except for just to say liquidity, and I believe everybody in here kind of thinks the same way. So FMC, FMOC is going to give us our direction. Yeah, absolutely. A couple days. <clears throat> if we drop, like I said, I really don't have any problem with well FMLC yeah, isn't going Wednesday. Okay. Are you so ready? I don't have any problem with You're bigger target down in the three one seventeen area. That's the bigger, bigger target down there. And then if we pop back up and start moving up, it might take some time to do it. But we gotta get all the way up to thirty three twenty eight is the big, big target up there. Uh, but we have some stuff beforehand like the nineties that we need to play. It's another level setter. Yeah, I mean, I, I still think it's possible we could fill that gap. I mean, I got a big untested daily up there at 33.17. Uh, I think it's certainly... Until 10 p.m. to pop Wednesday is when they're going to release their report. Speaking of that, have you checked the news today? What is, what's cracking on Forex Factory? Nothing that I care about. Oh, consumer confidence. <laughs> And the manufacturing index, okay. Yeah, like you said, nothing special. Nothing special. Part of the issue, too, is people have had probably experience doing this, is that when we get into this week and do this, sometimes the levels play exactly. Sometimes they're front ran or they seem to go through. It feels a little crazy. So when I look at that chart yesterday, we're like, oh, we're going to go up, let's go up. And then all of a sudden we drop back down. You know, playing into that old seven, then we pop back up, then we uh, back down into ten. We're like, what the fuck is going on? It's all fundamentalists. 
foods that's taking place. So sometimes it can get a little whippy during these times, fluctuate, and then also um, at certain periods, um, like run rollover would be another one. You know, they're playing a different contract month a quarter, and it's like, well, why is it front running my level? But if you look at the other contracts, like, well, it hit it right to the tip. So you kind of just have to be aware of that a little bit. I'm not saying give you any room, stick with your stops. That's the safest bet. But if you don't get in a trade because it front runs your level, don't chase it. You know, unless you feel confident, and then you got to tighten up a little bit. So you just got to be aware of that. That typically that happens because it's not technical, so to speak, anymore. It's the big boys or girls or whatever you want to call them now are pushing it around and trying to figure out and adjust their books. Let's see. Oh, we're still, yeah, well, never mind. I was going to say, I was looking at the rollover. I forgot we're still a month forward, so. Nice pullback from 24. Same fucking level. As you guys know that uh, I've been in here, we repeat the same levels over and over again, guys. Um, there's clearly a reason for that. See that they continue to play over and over again. Um, Tupac, I actually had a short at 25.75. I have water sitting there. Obviously missed me. Would have loved to have gotten filled before the open here. So... 2075 was my first target, which were basically just tapped. Uh, so that kind of sucks, but it is what it is. It is what it is. Still skeptical of the ES machine, dude. Listen, the Fed's throwing money at this thing. It's hard. It's hard for me not to believe that it's not coming down, and it's hard for me to believe that they're going to let it come down. So I'm kind of halfway in the middle with you as well, Pac. It's, you know, if I had to guess, well, they're going to keep it hyperinflated until after the election, if I had to guess. Then after that, it's anyone's guess. me too dude it makes no sense so we just came up and we tapped yesterday's POC which was 2425 um, that was what currently brought us down right now and again I'm going out on a limb but I'm gonna tell you at the election I think we're gonna go down and get 2865 <laughs> We might. And I'm going to go out on a limb and say I think we see 3,200 3, today. But that's quite that's quite the quite the assumption right now considering we haven't lost 16. But that's the way I feel. I'll be getting long. If that happens, I'll be getting long from there. You should be picking up some options if that happens. Absolutely. Pac, I got the monster machine back last night. This motherfucker's running so smooth. It's all quiet. It's humming. Oh, man. It's like, well, it is brand new, basically, but it's so nice. So nice. You got me a motherboard with a digital readout on it. I can see the temperatures, everything in there. Yeah, I got a new chip. New chip, new board. Definitely ready to do something. So here's what I, I end up grabbing the Intel i9. 
You know, Pac, I'm always ready to fuck the markets up. I just got to give it what it gives me. Yesterday was uh, an interesting day for me because it was, you know, I was without my machine. I was trading on a machine I don't really trade on. I was just completely out of my element yesterday. I, I had no business doing what I was doing yesterday. So whatever. Lesson learned. I haven't taken a fucking ass beating like that in months, so I guess I was due. But that just shows you right there. We don't always put up winners. <laughs> it's close. It's almost every day, but yesterday it was definitely out of my own. Yeah, it's a beast. I would love to take. Let me see if I can. So he sent me a a picture of it not put together. I posted it for the guys in the room. It's pretty cool. Uh, let me see if I can find it. This is unfortunately not put together, but it's not all prettied up. But it's got a little LED readout right there, and it's all RGB'd out and shit. It's pretty cool. It's so fucking quiet compared to my last one. <laughs> Dude, trust me. I as, as nice as it is, I probably won't ever do a liquid-cooled machine again. They are a fucking pain in the ass. When I, I mean, they really are a pain in the ass. Just between having to fucking change the lines once a year, making sure it's topped off. I used a colored dye last time. I had blue in there, and it had gunked up all my blocks, my cooling blocks. So you had to go through and take everything apart and get all the sediment out. I went clear this time to avoid that, but it's such a pain in the ass. And then, you know, I changed my chip out because... My chip went bad, so when I did that, I had to fucking get a new cooling block. It wasn't simple as just buying a chip and buying or buying a board. Then I had to find new liquid cool parts to make. To it's like, damn. All right, so let's see what we got here. Ice Giant Cooling. That's cool. I will check that out. Thank you. Let me look at that. Pull that up. Eee, that looks sick. Yeah, I'm going to keep that up and take a look at that. Thank you. So I'm keeping a close eye on this profile. I mean, I know we're opening in range, guys. It's interesting to me. We have a single print at 28 um, from Globex. I don't know if it's going to play. It's a low volume area. But I am kind of keeping an eye on that uh, just to see if we get a reaction. I don't tend to give too much weight to Globex uh, prints and whatnot. So that will be interesting. Uh, I do want to get short at 35. <clears throat> and... That is also 3475 is the Globex POC. So that matches my confluence. Um, so I'm, I'm feeling confident about that particular short for sure. And of course, you know that's still the same level. It's, again, it's those four hour pivots that need to be gained. We should see some sort of reaction around those areas so let's see what we got here Today will be interesting, guys. I, and the reason that I, you know, keep reiterating this is 
we gained a bunch of shit last night and we lost it all again. We're right back where we fucking were yesterday. <clears throat> I certainly hope we come up to 40, 40 to 42. I'm going to fucking load the boat up on that motherfucker. That is truly what the Globex lost. So this long from 16 this morning would have been very nice. Um, 18 was our four hour support. Again, guys, for those of you guys who are new, I want you to understand that a lot of the levels that I have highlighted are levels that are the, that that are of importance to me that I expect to see a reaction at, right? Or the stuff that's that's in green. I don't know if you guys can see the green or whatnot, but for me, this is a th these are important, significant levels that we need to be lost and gained, right? Or lost or gained. The blacks are what I'm kind of expecting to see a significant reaction at if I, for a trade. Um, but there are other lines in here, and the other lines in here are more of a reference point. Like when you guys look at that, you say, well, that line didn't do anything or what have you, or that line got a reaction, but it was only small. The purpose of these lines are reference points. These gray dashes are dailies. Uh, the big thick gray dashes are weekly. The light greens are four hours. The ones that are thicker light greens are four hour supports. The, the light green small ones are just standard four hour levels that I'm using as reference points for as we start to progress, what are we gaining? What are we getting above? What do we need to hold? So I just want you guys to understand what these levels are for. They're not necessarily for every level to get a reaction from per se, um, because you obviously have to trade in the context. Uh, but uh, YouTube stream is way clear. Yeah, it is. I agree. But so you just have to understand that these levels are here for us to understand how we're moving, what we're getting above, what we're getting below. So it's all about the context of the move. And I just wanted to kind of point that out so people didn't get lost in saying, well, where are all these lines and what have you, what have you. So... So Scalposaurus, the YouTube stream is clear on YouTube, but I did notice that on Twitch, you can change the definition. You can change the quality from like 720 to 1080. I don't know if that's new. I just saw that yesterday. Um, so maybe the resolution for you was a little different. I do know that the delay on Twitch is much less. Um, I think YouTube seems to be about eight to ten seconds whereas twitch is two to three seconds the only difference guys and just to let you know um when i when i do chat i can see your chats from youtube but you cannot see mine so i don't know what that's about you have to answer your questions by voice uh can i answer your questions by text so please keep in mind if you're in twitch you get to see everything that's being typed from both youtube and Twitch because the bot retweets it but if you are in YouTube you don't see any of the chats unfortunately so I don't know what's up with the uh, API there through Restream um, but for some reason it's doesn't like me so So my upload bitrate is super high. I just tested it last night. Um, my upload bitrate is higher than average because I have such a good connection. Um, I believe my upload bitrate was 10,000. So it's 
you know, most people are doing between one and five thousand. Um, mine's at ten thousand. It automatically set it last night when I set up my new computer. So I don't think it's that. Yeah, I just don't understand. I mean, it works fine with Twitch. It just, for some reason, it's not linking to YouTube properly. Oh. So I also got a different uh, cam for you guys. This is the screen that I look at uh, versus the one that I show you guys. Um, it's basically identical. Uh, I use a different tick sometimes. So, and a lot of times I talk about shit and I forget that I'm looking at the wrong screen so might, tr <laughs> might try something different here today <laughs> I'll be pointing at the screen and then realize I'm fucking they don't even see what I'm talking about yeah I could see that So they may run my ass over. I'm just gonna let it be known right now. I'm gonna try to short 2575. I'm gonna keep a tight stop on this, guys. I might even I have my stop at 29, but I might even do 28 and a half. Just keep it super tight. If we're gonna get a smack here, we're gonna get a smack. I really don't want to fuck around with it. Coming off a of 16 is a major level for me, but it needs to hold to move higher. So um, yeah. Plus, right now we haven't. The 30 minute is looking pretty bullish. Uh, Keep in mind too that they uh, trapped some buyers up there at that high, at thirty-three fifty, as well. Yes. So, <clears throat> They trapped some more up there at 42 as well. Shall say. Let's go. Filled. Looks like they're going to run me. Let's see. Short at 29.50 for me. They, they stopped me. I stopped out at 28.50. Uh, just a little guy. Oh, nice call. Uh, I just realized there was a fucking batch of traps there. I didn't even look at it. Ah, nice fucking short part. 
So that was the single print from Globex as well. Damn, I should have looked at that a little harder. So guys, check this out. This was a big trap seller up here, um, or they would actually, uh, not trap necessarily, but this is a seller who would probably try to defend this area. Uh, played it, very nice. So let's see what you're showing. Oh, wrong screen again, fuck me. All right, so there you go. This guy was a, a big seller here, uh, big red dick. Uh, got smacked as he, as he tried to defend this area. Uh, as you can see right here, it came right up into it on the volume. And uh, we got a nice delta flip. Bang. Nice job, Bart. Still in it. I want to get down to 24, so we're going to have to lose uh, the POC from yesterday. So hopefully we push into 24s and then I'll just take it out. Fill it, fill it. Thank you. Yep, that was my target there. Excellent call. All right, so I'll see you guys later. That was nice, and like I said, that was the single print P from the POS uh, from the Globex session as well. And then I run mine a, a little different, but that's actually into the value high from yesterday as well. Uh, yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah. So NQ is losing six oh six, attempting to push down. So this can go a little farther. <clears throat> Guess I played that a little tight. A little, probably a little too tight. Happens to be, if you have a profile in there too, that single print, you might want to show that. Uh, yep. So guys, this is the single print from the Globex session right here. 28.75 or 29. Now we're holding 24, which we talked about many, many a times yesterday. Yeah, that on there too. And actually, and then you can see getting up to test the RTH top of the bell curve. I broke down from the previous day. Scalp 24. All right, Bart. Nice job, my friend. That was a nice trade. I did not look at my uh, information close enough. So, we'll put you in over here. 29, 24. And the same for me, Tupac, as well, right? So, it's a little difficult in the beginning. Uh, the open, obviously holding 19, coming down in that 14, 15 area, but holding the 14, 25. So this pushing back up into the bottom of the congestion, however you want to play it in the 2930s, would be a good target by holding that play off of 19. <clears throat> so hold 19, go up. Don't screw around. But this is the high side of the or to drop back through but right. into the middle. So hence why I got out or on the low side when I played 18 back up into that 22, 24, get out. Well, 24 was the right spot. There's no question about it. That was also the POC from yesterday. Damn near a perfect VWAP test. All right, so as we talked about before, guys, we are op we opened in yesterday's value area um, and yesterday's range. Uh, usually significant uh, for a big time balance day. Yeah, pop. It looks like it's gonna pop for sure. I'll give you that.
she blows. Chairman Nadler was in a car accident, not injured. So, as you guys know, 24, also now the POC from yesterday, also our weekly support to the high. I preached this level 100 times yesterday. This might come down here. The volume is down 14% right now on the day, guys. The ES has only traded 300,000 contracts. Damn. I know we just opened, but damn. Well, this is kind of the short I expected. SQBG, sequential brands group, getting a pop here now. 729, the high of 40%. Sandy Quebec, Played really nice. He moved out. Bart, I believe we talked about nineteen being significant a while back. RFS Griffles says delivers first manufactured batches of its anti -stars. Yeah, 19 was important. I believe it was a pivot. Hey, my mic off, yes. 19, 44, 67, 92, 86, 72, 73, 65 are significant pivot points. Coming up at 10, CB Consumer Confidence for July and the Richmond Manufacturing Index for July. Not necessarily a bad thing, Scalposaurus. You got a delta flip down here at 19, which was interesting. Nice little push there. And Q back above 606, trying to. Bar is not finished. In the 30 minute, obviously only 10 minutes into the session, drop back down. So no big sellers there, still in balance. They start saying range. Still in yesterday's range. Mm -hmm. No trend. There was, and I can't get it to, I can't fucking figure out how to get it to work. I'll see if I can play with it. Because um, it's not, 
it's not working properly right now. But you're right, there was an audio alert that I tried to tried to get to do its thing. Let's see if maybe that's let me see if I just select this. Let's see what happens. We'll see it for the next one. We'll see if it works. So the crickets can make it sound like a frog. Oh, speaking of crickets, do I have the crickets off? Well, they were on earlier. Okay. I got the dog barking on my side. We got wood clapping. If we can get frogs, some other sounds, whistles, sirens. It certainly looks like the short. Oh, there we go. Delta flip. It worked. Yeah. Let's see it. That was it. Ding. Now I should probably have it come on after the bar closes. So do we have a difference between um, longs and shorts sounds? As of right this second, I don't. I can set it up that way, though. I should probably do it for... Right, because right now, that's what he's saying, that if the numbers start flipping, it gives the signal a pre-warning, but yeah. that bar is not finished, so yeah. that warning can come off of there. All right, well, let's do value on bar close, and then for the cell, we'll do the same thing, and we'll do a different alert. There you go, so the bar closed, it gave us the, the signal. Again, guys, definitely not something to rely on, but it is interesting. If you're in a trade, there's no reason to get out of it. Yes. That would be a good way to look at it, for sure. Shares of PFF Pharmaceuticals getting a high of $8.13 and halted on a circuit breaker now. Shares up 20%. At the high off of that new PFFP. Article uh, abstract being circulated development of remdesivir as a dry powder for inhalation by thin film freezing. Kind of looks like it's going to come down here. Let's see what happens. I need to pop it. I have no idea. Yeah, no, it's very unclear. Don't get me wrong. Delta's definitely in the right direction, so. Well, sell us if we went up to the 2930 or, or continue with no buyers as we went up to the 2930. So until something kicks in, it'll probably be on low volume again. So overtake the low volume with some type of new order. And try not to get psyched out on it, but we'll see what happens. Cypress, uh, Cypress winning orders for gas projects in Brazil and Canada. That's Sandy Yankee Papalongo, SYTR. So far, so good, guys. Check it out. Boom, boom. Nice little short there. Delta flip long. Oh. Well, I didn't hear that one. <clears throat> it wasn't set up yet.
And Q hold then 606. So back and forth here in this range. Uh, if we get another 30 minute candle here uh, within this range up, there's a possibility we can pop up, but not finished yet. So holding that value low on that RTH, um, losing that decide to pop up a little bit more again still playing the extreme so watch yourself be long get what you can out of there be real surprised you know if this thing from here would take off and all of a sudden go past 44 or whatever i doubt that that's going to happen that's what i mean by being tight here when we're in that range get what you can otherwise you'll be in trouble YPR accepted solution shares were halted at the high of 88 cents on that news. So NYMX what I heard you said, I guess, is that the update on company the developments, November Yankee, Michael Hextray, nine months. What'd you say, Bart? I didn't hear you. Matt is not on stream today for those that like to follow him. For oh. me, I blessed with Yesterday was a tough day. Thought he was taking a day off. Nymox uh, providing updates on companies most important <clears throat> For you guys who are watching, please like and subscribe. It really helps us out. Uh, kind of let's keep an idea of who's who's in tune and how many people are actually watching what we're doing. So really appreciate that. And Europe. There's that 26 short. Shares of Nymark. What up, Piper? Hi, Piper. Twenty six. Lobex double top. I know. You see, I want to get short up there. Yeah, I know. Should have took that 26 again. XCLA getting another pop here. X ray Echo Lima Alpha company earlier announcing. A collaboration with MasterCard for pay by uh, for pay UK. That's XCLA down fifty six cents, up thirteen percent. You already know about the dude. We're in the same fucking bullshit we were at yesterday. The exact same spot. Here's this twenty six again playing out. This one hour. And I know. Should have took the twenty six again. Twenty-seven. That was nice. So here we are back at nineteen. We'll see what happens. Like I said, I it wouldn't would not surprise me if we fucking see thirty-two hundred today. Rob, you talk with this long is that it's worn out. Yeah, nice. It won't be, but if you drop back down, make a new low, and then regain it, then you're good to go. But For me, that's how I view it. It can work, but it... 
Yeah, I'm a little pissed too, Pac. I didn't reshore really at 26. It's fucking 10 points. That is just as good. I'm going to grab this for scalp sharp. Could be wrong with him. So I do have, uh, just be careful up in here, boss. 16 ish. There's some uh, trap sellers down here. That's where I'm trying to get to. 16, like I said, it's just little scalps. Push down. And is trying to push down, too. So it needs a delegator. Otherwise, I'll be watching my ass. <sighs> Needs to lose the value lower, at least push down a little bit. So you see the S P Y T and S D M. So that just ended. I'll just go break even. Time and sales D M. Oh, I did see what you were talking about. Yeah, I'm not really sure what that was about. I saw it first thing this morning. I didn't look at it much harder than that. I was still kind of sleeping. Um, I should probably take a look at that though. It was interesting. Let me pull that up. Yeah, I, I, I that's just a small scalp or whatever. It's no big deal. Just going with the momentum down again. We have one time frame down. I get back up. Needed for me on my candles. My candles are a little different. Need to get above 31, 30, 75. Did not pushing back down. Making a new low into that 19 being worn out. Not saying it's going to keep going, but should give a little something. So if it's that in the 16th, I'm already out. Crap, but whatever. It's cool. Right. Uh, I do think there's potential for a pop here, but we'll see. My Ultimately, my bias is a little lower, so we'll see what happens. Yeah, I saw that. What, what's the difference? My what bias is always point? lower. Man, that's the problem with me and ES, I know. Uh, he, he he showed me something last night where they cleaned up yeah, like twenty three million dollars of the positions on the spider here, last night. Um, $9 when we lost this high up here on the ES. What a nice short for fucking twenty six. On TFFT, uh, 45% now at the high. Tangle Fox Trot, Fox Trot, Pop. Unbelievable. What a nice short. I said, guys, I really think we're going to see 3,200. I kind of made that presumption this morning. It just looks like they need to test it to me. Yeah, so we are below Globex low from last night. Um, and we are um, still, in, still, we're still in yesterday's range, but we're under yesterday's value area. There's a little confusion though with NQ. So NQ uh, is just hitting the value area low, getting in there now. So that holds that and pops back up. We should probably be in the well. We'll see. Awesome short from that one hour, or from the 29 even. 26 retest was fucking tits. So we did not uh, lose yesterday's low yet. Is that yesterday's low? 
No, it's not. Never mind. It's just a swing. It's a swing. It's a swing low. My bad. I was looking at the eleven. I don't want to short this sixteen. They clapped me here yesterday doing the same shit. Tech dumped and bounced. These fuckers are gonna sucker punch me. I was gonna short 16, I shorted 15, we went to 14, we bounced off of 14. Same trade as yesterday. I'm gonna fucking. Oh, the cam pivot? I believe it. I might as well just kill this right here, we didn't fall. Daily and pivot or what? Uh, it's I don't know. Let me look. Yep, daily can pivot. Oh, the math. Nice job, Scalposaurus. Holding yesterday's open right now. TV consumer confidence, 92.6 versus the forecast of 94.5. Consumer confidence is down a little bit. There's a positive delta flip. Filled in the low volume node. We actually, uh, oh, did we? I didn't have the volume, the volume profile up. Well, yeah, I see what you're saying on that. Yeah, gotcha.
Guys, I took a small one one and a half point loss on this short at the bottom. Let me see, let me plug this in. Needs to dump below the 17, otherwise it's just nothing but a bunch of range crap. So I'm going to look at Still in balance, put in a good tail. Didn't lose 16. 16 is our number. <sighs> NBRV Nebriber receives European approval for Zenletta for treatment of the newly acquired pneumonia. That's November Bravo Romeo Victor, NBRV Nebriba. Guys, on the 30 minute, we still are holding this 16 area that I keep saying is very significant. So just keep that in mind. about 606 here again so gonna watch the open where we're at we're pissing around here now you'll see all that crap so yeah just uh taking what you can get out of it and moving on is the best mode today Yeah, I need to fucking pull up some options shit. Where'd they go? Yesterday's POC. INFD and Seagull mm -hmm. spiking here in the November Sandy Golf. Where the fuck is 63 I? spiking here, INFD. That's what I want. Metal. 
struggling. It's not good. Yeah, no. Just around all day here. That's what ended up happening. Right back to yesterday's POC. Of course, it couldn't come to my fill. What day is uh, yeah, FOMC tomorrow? Postponed again tonight yep. uh, due to the outbreak among Miami Marlins players. chance is kind of a lot. I report that former Miami Marlins players have tested positive now 17 in total. I'm going to sell some fucking puts. $3,100 fucking puts expire on uh, Friday. Let's see if I can get some juice out of these things for FOMC. CES says it, it will not return to Las Vegas in 2021. We'll see what happens here. I'm trying to get 23 on my first one. Maybe I shouldn't be. Uh, maybe I should do 23, 25. Uh, this is 24 is big. I kind of hate to even fuck around with it. something stupid and pop right here if this falls though I might actually hang on to this one ADIL and Dow Pharmaceuticals uh, shares hitting a high dollar 58 now as the I get 19 out of this on Thursday uh, to India Lima probably not
that was probably my out right there 22 I'm gonna be patient though I'm gonna really try to see if I can extend this down to 19 let's just do 20 I'm gonna cover I'm gonna secure a little bit of profit there I needed that I took a few little losses this morning so we'll see. yeah we're in the middle crap here so Yeah, it said something about Vegas. I thought it was CES. Either or the drug chain. CES. Yeah, I guess. Come on, come on, come on. Let's go. I don't want to follow this down, but don't pop up and tag me. Just fucking go already. All right. Well, that's that. It's probably gonna go if I just left it alone. Yeah, there it goes. Should have just left my stop at fucking B. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And two is not pushing on the lows. It's still in range. We're major major range here. So it's a good trade where you got for this bank tap. We'll see. I should, <clears throat> thankfully I got the high tick, twenty five, seventy five. That was convenient. Uh, I got out of twenty two. Fucking hella pop there. Twitter says Donald Trump Jr.'s account limited for 12 hours as it did not suspend uh, Trump Jr.'s account limits the account for COVID misinformation. So the candles uh, for me, my candles registered. They're Thanks keeping it the with his daily update now. OG candle here on the 30 minute. Which means we're fucking around here and possibly going up on it. Middle of all this crap today, so take so, your shots, do the best you possibly can, and watch your ass. Guys, just so you know, I kind of took a trade no here. Um, it's kind of off the books. I shorted. I'm sorry. I I sold the $3,100 puts. Uh, they expire on Friday, which basically means I am long, um, assuming that we're going to go up and not close by uh, Friday at 3100. I do not anticipate on holding these through FOMC unless we are just way the fuck up there, which I'm not sure we will be. But I will see what kind of juice I can pull out of these uh, if I end of business today. So, you know, if I can make an extra fucking three or four hundred bucks off of these things, uh, I'm certainly going to take it. I told you guys I am all about the passive income. Uh, I'm going to scalp the futures, let this thing go. Uh, as you know, $3,100 puts means. I'd have to fucking, it had to lose 125 points by Friday. So I think I'm pretty safe, um, but we'll see what happens. So I'll keep you posted on how this plays out. I'll probably close these by the end of the day, unless we just get a fucking stupid push and then I'll hold them. Well, I guess that was a nice exit, huh? It wasn't what I expected, but it was... I could have swore I fucking sold myself short on that one. So we are creating a four hour leg up from 24 right now. Let's see what happens. What's up, son? Good morning. Guys, let's talk about this again. 
I've only said this a hundred times, all right? We're above 16, we're above 24. Now we've gained 26, swing to the high. Our next one is 32, getting above 32. Just walking it up, walking it up. This once was resistance will probably now be support. This is probably a nice little spot to get long if you wanted to keep Isaiah, it tight. Isaiah getting a pop here in his Zulu Echo Alpha. Isaiah getting some blue dimension. Dollar uh, fourteen. Uh, so I got a fresh right one hour down ICDA. here. The skanky leg. Guys, by the way, I, we got those codes working. I'm going to give those out to you today. Uh, so I know there's a lot of new people in the room today. Make yourself known. Uh, if you're looking, if you uh, starting on August 1st, we're going to start doing a uh, live stream on Zoom. We'll no longer be doing it on uh, on YouTube and Twitter. We will only do it once a week. But uh, we're going to offer free promo August, codes. What's that? August 3rd, which is the Monday. So right. Do it on the first. You're gonna be the only one in that coupon set. <laughs> the the coupons gonna be valid for the 31st, so you can get signed up. But yeah, the third is to be the first day, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna start doing it on Zoom, and uh, then you'll have access to the Discord room, the community of traders. Uh, so YM should be doing well. So I got a fresh leggy down here at 18. I got some trapped at 15. Trap sellers at 15. Which is interesting. I'm still thinking this 26 might provide us a pop here. We'll see. Yeah. Probably should do a little something, something on there. Take us up to 32. Might throw some peanuts on here. I'm gonna keep it tight. What's up, son? So I got in a little late, guys. I really should have took 26. Uh, I'm in at 27.75. I got a tight stop, 25.50. If we lose this uh, swing low here, I'll just stop out. I don't even care. It's uh, I just got 10 micros on, so that way I could piece out as we come into this. So we'll see. Hopefully we hold 27.75 here, pop us up. We're above volume POC right now. We're into a volume node, a low volume node. Hopefully they try to fill this little volume node in. Give us a little push I'm looking for. We're above VWAP. Let's go. We have a poor high. We actually touched Globex value area FRB low at 30. We are 29. I just noticed this. 29 is yesterday's value area high. So. 
certainly like this to go. Not making me feel real good. Let's see. EFE Pfizer, Pfizer CEO says possible that its experimental COVID-19 vaccine can be used as immunity phase over time. That on their conference call. Looks like they're going to come tag me unless we pop from VWAP. I'm not giving this thing fucking much room, guys, just because we're in this whole balance fuckery nonsense. Looks like probably no dice here. Probably back down to 24 on pop. Who knows? Definitely no direction here. So. Absolutely not. It was kind of a gamble that I took right there. It was just trying to play what it had gained and hopefully for the continued yeah, They kicked the carrier above the whole pen, so they can push it in, go up two more points or whatever, three more points and get it to you. Overall volume right now is down 11, almost 12%. So we're running a little thin. There's no question about it. Um, <laughs> I can tell just by the way it feels, we haven't traded a whole lot of contracts today. 500,000. It's pretty shabby. Pfizer CEO says company hopes to have nominal antivirus viral treatment for COVID-19 in the clinic by September. Come on, collect them sticks. So I will be shorting up here, full size, uh, around 35 if we get there. I'd like to see this move go there. That's kind of what I was banking on. Fucking around, fucking around. Come on, stuff. So, Q in the PLC about pixel six. XDLA. I don't have anything here, so you either play the high side and short it. I know you're long, Ryan, or you play the low side and get. Yeah. I mean, to be honest with you, this is probably a better short than it is a long. I'm just trying to play what's been gained for the move higher. This is it. They're going to crack me. Any info regarding regards to the Zoom calls? Uh, it's basically going to be very similar where we're defining our entries and exits for everyone. We're going to it's, it's it'll be in real time um, the discord chat is what's going to be the most important you basically uh, have access to you know the conversation that takes place in the back you know we don't do a lot of that on the free chat for obvious reasons um, yeah so you know we're, there's constant commentary going on for a couple products crude gold um, the ES and uh, so yeah
I think he's wondering if we're gonna, on the website add some information about. Oh, what well, we could. We just haven't. Oh, it's in there. So there's a. <clears throat> it's the chat feature. It's the chart. ESPD, ESPD Plus Therapeutics, Slim Sum Volume, getting a copy of $2.80. Copy Sandy Tango Victor, ESPD. Fucking around, fucking around, Bart. Jeez. No follow through. You know, CDN, the good part is you'll be able to come in for free for a couple weeks. Uh, all you got to do is register and sign up. You see if you like it. If you don't like it, you don't got to stay. You get a couple weeks to check it out. I think you'll like it, though. It's going to it's pretty. It's gonna be pretty solid. Not only was it Zoom in real time, but I think you'll get a lot of benefit out of the Discord chat here. So yesterday's POC, 2425. Get my stop in the right place for five points. I'd still be in this, and I'd still be right back at break even. Oh well. Played it a little tight just in case. Coffee. Yep. I put my little. I think it was. How much did I lose on that? One hundred and twelve dollars. So I took a two-point loss. Look at that shit, motherfucker. All I had to do is keep my stop there. There's my first target. You motherfucker. All right, that was my bad. Opening range high, yep. And we have no, our high is a poor high. Damn, I can't believe I took the loss. Well, you're reporting daily coronavirus hospitalization. There was my target, guys. Up 2.4 percent at 585 from the previous day. Deaths up 3.1. Cup and handle. Uh, 30s playing again. Still defending that area. As you can see over here, this guy is hanging tough. There's a big seller here. He knocked it the first time. Now he's knocking it again. Hanging tough. This thing takes us down to 18. I'll be like, Dallas what? Texas, uh, Texas Services Sector Revenue Index uh, minus 8.5 in July versus 5.7 in June. Unfucking believable. Texas Services Sector Index of General Business Activity outlook minus 30 again. In July versus that guy's defending like a mofo. <sighs> See if they pop it here, they'll be holding the low. That high of the day. 
Pfizer CEO says disappointed with President Trump's executive order on drug pricing. I'd like to load up that options indie that I was showing you, but I'm a little scared to do it right this second. I'm going to have to wait until the morning's over because if it locks up my toss, I'll be shitty. See if we hold this 24. Pfizer CEO says Trump's drug pricing executive order could force the company to rethink its U.S. expansion plans and lead to job cuts that under a Trump call to get the Pfizer. 32.30 and chickened out, huh? Well, I mean, it was played once, so I could see why you would chicken out. I, I mean, I, in the back of my mind, I was wondering if it was going to play again myself, but I chickened out too, so it's all, it happens. And in PR, nine meters by Obama, uh, getting a copy of Interbank right now. Company announcing earlier uh, issuance of a patent for the use of the rapid tide in acute lung injury and acute respiratory distress syndrome. Hmm. That's NMPR. London Open Chop. Yeah. That 3 a.m. shit. Yeah. Twenty four, I know, dude. This level, this level, it's we're just fucking stuck. <laughs> fucking stuck. So fucking irritating. I hate it here too, man. I hate it here. Here we go again. Fucking it's crazy. <laughs> Fucking Chop City. Yeah, balance, balance, balance. Crazy. But it is. TLRY, Tule at the highest of the day now. Tango Lima Romeo Yankee, TLRY. LNK is linked, uh, getting a pop here to the highs of the day. Bravo Lima to the intraday highs, uh, $7.49 cents. LNK. Schumer says GOP stimulus plan is not a satisfactory starting point. NMPR, 9 meters bio, uh, getting uh, some mention from SunTrust, says new Loracetide patent to address lung injury 
potential use in COVID-19. Positive uh, note now from SunTrust. <sighs> All right. Guess we're gonna come back down. I'm gonna try to get along 19. Shares up uh, tonight, good spike in here, 65 cents on that positive note from SunTrust. Take 23. Then I gotta take 28. Actually, yeah. Right down, um, yeah, right down. We're right now. We're down ten percent uh, for uh, the ES. So we'll see. I fucking hate it here too. Too hot. So 32.22 is 6.9 and 6.10 RTH highs. Playing these fucking highs. It's just this fucking level, man. <laughs> it's all this fucking same bullshit. I'd love to short it all the way down to 18, but I don't know if it's actually going to go there. Can't fucking tell what it's going to do. <laughs> Every time it gets above 24, I want to get long, but there we go. No, that's not clear at all. Andy, it's a shame I took that two-point loss three, though on that 50, 12, on that long. If I'd have just uh, took a little heat, I'd end up hitting my first target. Oh well. So I got orders set to get long down here at 19. We'll see if that happens. It makes it down there. Fucking 26 again. This is still the same. I took it off, but this is still the same fucking level from this morning. Might as well just leave it on here. It still has context. GRFS uh, Ripples uh, getting a pop here to the high. Golf Romeo Fox Drive Sandy. Uh, another press release about delivering their first manufactured batches of anti-SARS COVT hyperimmune globulin for clinical trials. That's GRFS. <laughs> Tesla's flat.
Gold's starting to make a little walk up into our levels here. Still looking for a little scalp here. I mean, there's no question about it. This is what this is the ultimately what Globex lost, but this is uh, you can't ignore this as well. So, let's see what happens when we come up there. Twenty six. Fucking A. Feels that way, doesn't it? There's a Kodak, Eastern Kodak, coming back down Fun, right? Oh, this is fucking great. Lots of fun to set in orders for gold, just in case, so I don't have to watch it. Same 
Look how many times 26 is played today. Well, we can sit in this area, but again, you're 18, 16 down below to fill, start to fill out the profile. Obviously, there's good low down there. So there's back and forth stuff. We have a bath high, all kinds of crap here. So, but and two is just moving in the middle as well. So we go either way on some type of volume coming in. ETLNG Pharma getting a pop here to the high on volume 672 Echo Tango Oscar November ETLN. Yeah, seal is creeping. Kind of a slow melt. It's crazy when gold is up 12 bucks and that's only 0.6%. This thing's really made a massive move. 1,975 bucks. Let's look and see how my gilt's doing. Gilt. There we go. So I bought this stock. I paid five twenty-five. I think I averaged in from fifty to twenty-five. This pays a dividend. Came down. Tested the move to the high. This is like the low low. Gotta go for here, otherwise it just fucking loses it. But looking not too shabby. We'll see. I didn't put a whole lot in it. Three, four hundred bucks, I think. I'm up money so far. Pop this motherfucker up already. 
<sighs> got a poor high end. XBIO, genetic bioscientist, says we think we have a unique differentiated platform that has no opportunity to take a Go either way. I know it's so unclear, it's ridiculous. Yeah. Every like I said this before, every time it's above twenty four I wanna get long. Back to 26. And Q trying to stay below so sick, so we'll see if they push there or not. Oh, uh, yeah. I had this level marked for whatever reason. Interesting. I had 614 marked. Not sure why. Cube's looking bearish a little bit. FDFT future think tank getting a pop in the high 289, box rectangle, box rectangle. B, C, D. Cruising. Well, you guys can't emphasize enough. Twenty four, twenty three. Right over here, needs to be gained. Support to the all time high. Fucking shocker. Might as well take these long entries off of 19. I doubt they're going to play 30 again for the short, but who knows. Do some orders on at 34.75. Look at this fucking shit again. 30 again, huh? 
Wow. It's <laughs> fucking crazy. Whoa. Taking lunch, not a bad idea. Lunch in a nap. Right, this is a straight bullshit again. Gold's making that push though. Gold is making that push. This thing. It's up almost twenty dollars from yesterday's from yesterday's close and open. It's fucking insane. Yeah, with the VWAP there, it's possible. It's also one hour support. Uh, I'm sorry, 24 is, never mind. Oh yeah, it is one hour. It's one hour from the top down. I don't think it's been played yet. Oh uh, yeah, it has. It wait through it. Never mind. It's still my hold though. China's Wang Yi says to make resolute response to imperious U.S. Damn, this fucking gold is launching now. JBLU Jeff Blue says. Q4 revenue down about 60 to 70 percent. What's the volume on that thing? Company's president, JBLU, Jeff Wu. Oh, they're coming that contract. Yeah. 30 again, huh? There you go, Tupac. Pfizer uh, says no country in the developed world will receive coronavirus vaccine doses at a lower price than the U.S. for similar long benefit. That's CFE Pfizer. Says pricing for coronavirus vaccine will remain similar if U.S. government wants to purchase additional doses. Pfizer says after pandemic period, expect to return to more regular supply channel value based pricing for COVID 19 vaccine. Doesn't, uh, that's uh, CFP Pfizer.
CDN, why don't you send me your Discord uh, information? I've seen you in here a few times. Send me your Discord information, and I'll make sure I get you out of coupon uh, today, actually, so that you guys have that. If there's anybody I'm missing, please speak up. I, my memory is not the greatest at times, so. <clears throat> Alvacada, I think I got yours, don't I? I think I do. I collected quite a few of them the other day. I just yeah, I think I do have yours. So. Thirty again? Fucking kidding me! <laughs> wow! 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 Bar, did you take that short? I'm already short from before, so I'm waiting for town. I'm only getting down to the 18th, 16th. Where are you short from? I'm still short from my original position. Or not, I hung up to that craziness. No shit. <clears throat> well, you knew it was going to be a balance, so. Yeah, I did back up when we got to 22. So I hung on to all that. We'll see what happens. We will. I, I mean, you never know. I might. <clears throat> we can't seem to get above this 30. S a significant level needs to be gained. Uh, I'm going to go for 19. Hope I can get some rotation here. DT, DT, DTD, therapeutic scanning at Montpierre. Uh, something feeding. Hope they don't just run my ass over here. I don't think they will. We certainly could come down into 15. Still bounce for our Yeah, Tupac, it was easy. 30, man, again. Can't fucking third time this morning? Jesus. Like, seriously. It's hard to play levels that have been tested that many times for me. I even said I... <laughs> 30 again, and I'm not taking it, and here he goes, fucking second biggest short of the day. The football game or something, that's just fucking crazy. Same lines. Yeah. 
Well, that's what we actually, that's part of the contextual trading method that Bart does is it doesn't really matter how many times, I mean, it does matter, but he tries to, the contextual trading is where you play the level no matter what. And uh, at the end of the day, the, the numbers play out, as you can see, um, you know, you have a few losses, but you have more wins than losses uh, if you play every single level like a machine. Well, Pac, I want a little lower too. I'm trying to get long at 19. My first target would be 22.50 and then 25.50. Um, I should probably take 24, but here, fuck it. <clears throat> this candle almost comes in again, puts another fucking doji in or whatever else. It's kind of What's up, baby? Do you need something from over here? From like your charger? I took the point. <sighs> Fucking ping pong, man. Am I short again from 28? 27.50. Call the twenty one into existence. Just keep wishing it.
Fucking 24. Little cluster got long. I'm telling you, this thing fucking yells at me every time. It's like, long me. Long me. I guess I can take the long off now. Fucking back and forth. Fucking ping pong. 34.25. Back down to 32. Back down to 28. ABTR, Alpha Bishop Golf Romeo, Aventure, South. I didn't mistake it. Hockey or Alpha Bishop Golf Romeo, ABTR. We should fall farther than that, though. We should fall. Let's call it 31.50. Look at the bid ask on these options. Look at that shit. Thousands. I might take one here. I think it's going to go a little higher. Should have hit the market. <clears throat> oh well. fucking 900 people on top of me I'm first in line should probably take that before they fucking fade with the high loss Oh, wow. 
Sitting on the high volume edge right now, guys. Let's see if they get a little popsky here. Sit down in the corner. It's a straight dick for a tick on that one. Biosciences ticker G L O two halted on a circuit breaker on a spike in volume and price. Stop I should try to load this fucking for the sessions ticker echo Victor toss indicator Oscar. up. Might be kind of fun for us to watch. I got this toss indicator that wasn't working well on my old computer, but what it does is it it's it's a no delay, no lag type of thing, and it shows the options when the big options volume is is in play, and it shows it in the candle, so you know if like a bunch of somebody's getting out of a bunch of puts at the bottom, you got a good idea of like this might be the bottom. You know what I'm saying? Sciences ticker GBLO investigators choosing to trade here at about 11:24 a.m. Eastern Time, 11:24 seconds. Shares halted up 16% ticker GBLO. Hopefully this stupid thing doesn't lock my toss up. It's pulling so much data when it does this.
And yes, uh, my, my toss feed is kind of frozen right now while it's loading all this data. I know, dude. I'm telling you. <laughs> I know. I'm totally with you. Scalposaurus, I am with you. Which short? 31? No, I didn't. My orders are at 35. Thirty-four twenty-five. This fucking thing is fucking up my toss now. Got filled on one of my options there. Um, I just had to close that. fucking charts never came back up they're here but they're frozen stupid ass indicator I'm supposed to be loading it before the fucking day just in case Some fresh coffee, please. Thank you. You want to dump it all out? Yeah, you can dump it out if you want. Guys, I know the fucking charge fucked up. Yeah. That uh, the indicator is not friendly. Still got a poor high, guys. Uh, we hit yeah, the uh, six A R T H pivot at thirty two. I just realized that's what was happening while I was I'm fucking around with this stupid thing. Baiting in the shorts. Bring them in. I'll be one of them at uh, 3425. We'll see. Hopefully, don't fuck, fuck me. That would be uh, 35 is Globex POC. Are you still alive out there? Um, I don't know that right. says I'm sure you <laughs> Why does that not surprise me? See the walrus says are chimpanzees. 
Yeah, they said Donald Trump Jr.'s thing got banned. It was on the news feed this morning. They said he was over fake coronavirus news. I don't know if it was intentional or unintentional, but... Well, do you have test? Six fifty. BWAP's at 28. Oh, it's different. Let me look. Let me see what Rhythmic says. Yeah, you're right. That's strange. Just the volume. Volume's different. Right. Is the Delta showing buyers? Not really. The Delta's not doing shit. As you can see, it's kind of like back and forth. We're just hovering. We had buyers coming in right here when we were at uh, 20, which was Pox number. And then we came up, and then it basically just petered out at 31, as you can see. And we're just chilling right now. Yeah, Globex I, I want to short up there, bad as fuck. Getting closer, taking another one off the options here. Almost got a whole dollar out of this one. It's good money. If it pops up to 34, I'll definitely get this one filled. I've expressed how important 32 is so many fucking times, guys. Four hour swing pivot to the high or support, I mean. I'll show you again just so you understand where it's at. Right here. Four hour pivot. The support here. So I'm looking to short here. Not only is it a fresh two hour for me, but it's also the four hour support to the high. It's the same level within a few ticks, so I want that. Hey Piper, those uh <laughs> stupid ass fucking cam pivots. It's crazy, huh? Tight 
attached to it. 53 is the weekly, monthly, all that jazz. This four hours looking strong as hell. Two hours looking pretty strong. We just got above the previous two hour. We're only 30 minutes into it, so it's still one hour is above the previous one hour. This 32 is fucking big. I really want it to pop above this. I should be short here just for all all reasons important. So we actually came up and touched yesterday's close, guys. Pretty interesting uh, on the RTH session. Just took one on another one off my options. I just got the one left. Might make a right shoulder. Yeah, I see what you're saying. That's why I was saying earlier, I really felt like we should come down to 3,200. We never made it though. We hit 12 and held on. Guess we'll see. We haven't lost anything, guys. So, you know, the four hours regained everything. Um, you know, we get above 35. The only thing we've lost is what was lost in Globex. But based on yesterday's session, you know. Support was like 14. We never even touched it and popped. It looks like I'm going to get this option filled. Last one and my short. Should have been a little more patient. A little more patient. Use the restroom, guys. We'll be right back. Lots of buying, huh? Damn. Oh, I got filled on my option too. Okay, I'm done with those. Made up for that small little loss I took on the ES this morning. Okay, that's cool. So obviously RTH high here. Let's see what happens. Yeah, so I got orders at 34.25. Um, did not get filled yet. So we'll see. 
or above yesterday's close, which is uh, significant. More than likely, we will probably go to the next high, and I'll end up beating this, but I have to take it. So. You want a short 28. We're above 28, Tupac. Two, two it. Oh, short 228. Yeah. That's actually where my last target is at. It's 2750. <coughs> Should probably 20, take 28 here. Good call. So I did the three tick rule on this one. I should probably do four so I could get filled. Uh, we'll see. Oh, they're going to fill me? Oh my god, they just popped up to me and didn't fill me. I'm going to be sorry. But... All right, I'm going to drag it down. All right, 34 on fill. My first target's 31.25. Even though I should probably be taking 32. I just wanted a little bit more than two points out of that first one. So we'll see. I should probably consider 32. I just hate to take fucking two points on a high time frame level. Can I get 32? Can I get it? 32 and 28. Let's see what happens. Could pop up a little higher. We haven't even tested my level yet, so. Got in a little early. I don't know, we'll see. I'll just watch it and see. Let's find out. I should do 32.25 today's open. Hope it doesn't fuck me on that. I just wanted more than two points. Two points is like, ugh. It's like what? It, you know, it's just it's it, it's hard for me to take two points, and I just feel like it, it's worth more than that. I mean, two points is a minimum right now. Like if I take 32, it's two points. If I take anything less than that, it's like a point of three quarters. It's terrible. <laughs> but I guess a point and three quarters is better than an L to the face, so who knows. Well, there you go. You see it came to me. It didn't film me. I'll probably be fucking sorry. It won't. I'm 40 second in line. Let's go. There we go. So this is a dangerous spot right here. Um, this could easily pop back up in my face. The next level I need to consider is 30, since we've used that as resistance so many fucking times. I might take 30.75 if I can get it. If I protect my ass on this. Need to relose the high, obviously, <clears throat> that 29 area for yesterday's value high. Yeah. I wish I had more than one left. I would certainly like to uh, take it a little farther than the 3075, but I got to play what what it gives me. Uh, 
This is uh this is that thirty two man. This is, might be all that it's worth. Yeah, we'll see, Foxter. Delta ain't doing shit. Really ain't doing shit. I kind of want to just fucking take it. 32.50. It's the, the high of these ticks. Should probably do 32.75. Lock in something. We'll see. What the fuck was that? Oh shit, you're right. <laughs> you're absolutely right. Nice little P shape there, Bart. Yeah, I'm gonna kick it in here. She's gonna go. She's good though. So NQ's uh, knocking through that six six forty seven. Got a chance here. We'll see if he wants to piss around up here or not. Yeah, no, I, I mean if I was smart I'd just fucking take this, but it might go, but this area is so fucking key. It's just they're gonna hold it, they're gonna hold it. Looks like they're gonna eat up the fucking bit ass right now. Really? One take. Because huh? they had like a survey. I guess that was it right there. Between the two of them, they actually went for two. They kind of broke it from two different angles, but ultimately they get to the same point that the ticks should be optimized. And there are other areas that come up. On the ticks, it looks like that might have been it, guys. That is a probably a good for our six heavy pictures in the book by the different company that looks like. Unless they just flat out lose it right here. That looks like that was probably the turnaround spot. Tupac, you do have my entries, bro. You fucking, they're sitting right here. I keep telling you what I'm going to do. Yeah. Oh. Well, that's that. They may short this again when it gets up here. I may play it again myself. Oh 
Oh, Scalposaurus is still long from 32 to 14. Damn. Damn. You held that shit? Holy fuck me. Might as well. I didn't lose anything. That little dip at 20 would have freaked me out, though. Cup of handle. <laughs> right, whatever works. I don't know based on that proposal I see his cup and handle, I see it. It's just crazy. Citron Research just now tweeting on Twitter to the TWTR quote, Twitter doesn't mean a thing if you can't read. Not quite sure what Citron I'm referring to in that tweet, however, shares do look like they're ticking a little higher here. Twitter shares up 1% for the session, sticker TWTR. The fuck? Oh, here comes my target. Well, Bart, I fucked myself on that. Yeah, the time is that uh, rain period. I can push up a little higher. We'll have to see what happens. We're not throwing for long out there, but sometimes the uh, range makes that little extension and then can drop back down, so back into a good point or whatever. We'll see. We, we got to lose. We put in a good high. Money area. Yeah. Yeah. So Bart, the code that's in the admin chat, is that the one for the guys? The one that we, uh... yeah, I think so. I didn't change the number. I thought you might have changed the number or something. You better check that. Because you said you changed, I thought you said you changed the number.
You know, I plan on reshorting higher. I should have just left that alone and let it do its thing. Would have hit my target, it would have been fine. Go is twenty eight. Rosetta Stone company called Lexia Learning. That Lexia Core 5 reading was named a winner in the 2020 Tech and Learning Awards of Excellence. Shares of Rosetta Stone seeing a little volatility here, buying that Citron Peak ticker RST. Bar, I can't remember how to get press release to the code. Citron so you got to go into the members the area, and then on the top, there'll be an area that'll say code. Oh, that's right, that's right. That's right. Seats, anywhere between 50 and $60. Hybrid learning, literacy, subscription, best in class, and helping those who need it most, either PE or Google acquired that a tweet from Citron on Rosetta Stone, ticker RST. I thought, settings? No, that's not it. Is it under Learn Press? Oh, here it is. Discount code. Guys, if there's anybody on here that I don't have your Discord information, please send it to me now. I'm getting ready to send out these inv invites. It'll be good on the 31st of July. Have you ever seen the bank? Oh, that does. Yes. Yep. his training right I agree I just was curious it's basic well, I mean, it's kind of like Mike and 
my investment club and all that stuff, you know, you get your one play in and you move on. He might be doing some other stuff. Ross might be, I don't know. But... Yeah, scalpel source. That was a great short on the top, man. I and you're right. Uh, fucking Tupac 28 was the perfect target. And uh, yeah, this action's just back and forth. Uh, scalpel source. If you look at the um, market profile here, you can see we put in a good high. Um, now we need to come fill in the rest of this shit here. So it wouldn't surprise me if we came down lower and just kind of filled in this profile a little bit. Just to, just to unfortunately kind of throw that out there. Uh, I wasn't really paying attention too much at that short. I was working on some other stuff here, but that was uh, it's definitely the top tick. Yeah, the long was unreal.
there's a lot of it. Yeah, there's a lot of it. Even things like socialization, a lot of our emails don't have social media to do it. We know who you are. We know, we know who you are. You should be using that and talking to people as you're talking to a friend, right? That's basically having a more conversational interaction versus I think right now a lot of the interactions are very social. It's a very hard instead of instead of running a little gap between the time. Yep, twenty four. Man, that was a fucking stupid short. I fucking took nothing off of that thing. I really thought we were going to pop up and go higher and I could reshort. Guess you never know, huh, Bart? I got a to the tick fill on that thing. Really kind of dropped the ball on that. Got the delta flip. Yeah, at least back into the congestion or whatever. So we were good going to there. See what happens here. Low volume, push low. We should get lower. So everybody that I have, uh, their Discord, I went ahead and sent you guys a little uh, promo code, a link, the whole nine yards. Keep in mind, the code's not good until the 31st, which is Friday. Um, but if you guys do the link, uh, because the way it's set up, I would recommend doing it on a Sunday uh, to get the most out of the two free weeks. If there's anybody that I've, that I've missed in here and you're looking for a promo code to get in the Zoom chat, the Discord channel, uh, please let me know so I can get you in here. Looks like we got 18 people in the room and I only sent out nine codes, so just throwing that out there. Yeah. <laughs> 
I got to one more cup of coffee and then I'll be done. Volume's down 21%, guys. It's fucking bullshit. So I'll show you guys over here. What the fuck? Whoa. What just happened? second what did I just do there we go that was crazy as well so it's kind of blocked by the tick strike as you guys can see Relative volume right now is uh, down 18.2%. Our average daily move with 5 to 10 <clears throat> daily average is 185 ticks. It's divided by 4. That's 46 points. That includes Globex. We've moved 137. It's only 34 points. So we're, at, we're actually down. Uh, let's see. Let's just take our 185 ticks uh, times 0.78. It's 144 ticks, guys. Uh, we are within five points of being where we should be on this five to ten day average with the volume being all fucked. So, how is the link sent? I sent it to uh, the guys' discords that I that have sent me their information thus far. Are you sure, Poxter? Sad face. That is a positive delta flip there. For those of you guys here, you know, <clears throat> built small relationships with the guys that have sent me their Discord information, I will post this to the Twitch. So guys, here's this. Bart, I'm just going to post this in the room, okay? I figure I'd send everybody a personal Discord that had it, but... So there's the stream. Unfortunately, it doesn't. Oh, it went to YouTube this time. Fucking A. Okay. So here's kind of how it works, guys. Let's see. Now, that one did not go to YouTube for whatever reason. So. Let's see if I can log into YouTube and throw it on there. So strange how sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. So it looks like some more rotation here can't push down, possibly pop back up. And Q tried to push back down, obviously testing the low volume volume area and popping back up about 
six, twelve. <clears throat> so, as we talked about, no trend here at all. For the guys in uh, YouTube, apparently uh, they have a text limit of 200 characters. So, guys, when you sign up, it'll automatically send you a link to the Discord server. You'll pop in. Um, all I have to do is just assign you a role. So. September $40 puts at the bid with volume of 1,700 contracts versus open interest about 1,900 contracts. Shares of Comcast down about a half percent for the session. 43.37 last trade in shares of Comcast, ticker CMCSA. So guys, I <clears throat> nobody's looking at crude right now, but we did come up and played the backside of our four-hour level here, forty-one twenty-three, taking a dive. Okay, twenty-nine. It's just balance. You know what it is, Tupac. Fucking chilling in here.
So I was uh, busy typing this message, but it's still technically untested, but that uh, that pop-up to 2871 was a nice one-hour <clears throat> test there. Uh, could potentially move this thing down kind of decent. Uh, it, it did test it on the 15-minute, so I would much rather prefer to take it on that first hit. I was just a little busy. Sending out codes. section sucks. American Air ticker AAL shares just off a session high while the broader stock market ticking slightly lower here. Seeing some unusual call activity in this week's $12 calls. Indication at the ask on contracts of 600 versus open interest of about 16,000 contracts. Shares of American Air last trading at 1171 up about 3% for the session, ticker AAL. Man, can't wait for FOMC to be over. This is that summertime bullshit, Bart. This is why I never traded the ES until I made, until fucking you got me on this shit. Yes. It's all your fault. So I fuck with crude and gold because it should be moving. This shit is fucking sad. Stuck in this bitch ass range. I'm hungry as hell. Well, since we're not doing anything, I'm going to try to load this Indy one more time. It'd be cool to have it. <clears throat> I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it on for the 5 minute, but the 15 minute I think will probably work. I'm going to have to maybe reduce the amount of strikes it's looking at too. Because it's, for the, for, the, uh, for CL it's no big deal because it's not as heavily traded, but the ES is so fucking... Thick. Let's see. Studies. That is studies. Options. It'd be cool to see where these guys decided to chuck options or if we can get this thing to work. Looking at five bucks. It works beautiful for crude. Let's do a hundred strikes. Yeah, we'll do fifty strikes. Seeing some volume coming into Cage Boel, the ticker L. Brian Watt, 
back at it, calling everyone pussy. So. 25 cents higher here over the last minute. Stock also getting a mention on CPT, ticker LRN. Love tuning into a rant. So what this does, this uh, indicator, if I can get this thing going, is it pulls live information of uh, options from the five strike or from the five yeah uh contracts that i put in so it'd be the first five uh closest to expiration and uh i'm gonna have it looking at 50 strikes up and down which will essentially show us um, the most heavily traded and it should give us an idea of uh, what people are getting in and out and when I adjusted the sensitivity. Cool. Yeah, I adjusted the sensitivity a little bit. Let's see if we can make this work. Works like a dream for CL because it's not so fucking thick. Maybe it'll work with 50 strikes. This thing load up, it might take a minute. So, what's cool about it is, is you can have your options time and sales up, and uh, when something goes off, you can get a good idea of exactly what's happening if, if that's what you're into. Like, you really wanted to monitor it like that. It's almost time for me to take this little walk and let this load up first. is cool you can kind of see it building the options data in here as it's going <coughs> you know you'll have to explain it and give us a clear over yeah when it's all said and done I, I'll definitely do that right now it's just kind of Uploading all the data. Looks like I think it's done. Yeah, okay. All right, so today there hasn't been much, but let's just take a look. So this is kind of cool. So this is yesterday, right? So here was yesterday, right at the open. Somebody dumped a shit ton of puts, 
they got a, get a big a big put cell right here. The candle turned white, and then they popped it. Boom. Now, they uh, based on the way I have it set right now, um, it's only looking at 50 strikes. So you could see somebody either it looks like they bought more calls. The thing, the only thing about this is you can't tell if they're buying or selling. Um, that's why you have to look at the time and sales. However, based on where it's at in the in the chart, it's pretty obvious these guys are chucking their puts down here, which would cause an upside reaction. This would, I would assume, there's more puts being being bought here because we're at the highs and then we dumped, and then down here, guys, you could see this white candle. Calls are being bought. Calls are being bought. Kept moving up. More calls bought, bought. Um, you know, I don't know if this was selling the calls, but when it, once again it dipped back down, we got more alerts that calls were being bought, and then it pushed it up to the high. So that was kind of cool. Um, then uh, for today, we don't really have too much for the day. I don't know if these were calls being bought or sold. Um, it's hard to tell. Um, so not a lot of activity today, but that's how the indicator works, and it throws throws a little signal out there for us. So, kind of cool. Yesterday would have been very helpful. See if I can get five minutes on here. I don't know if it's going to let me. Nice. It's going to load it. Excellent. Yeah, Bob, <clears throat> we got a very nice bell curve going on again today. MSH, Mercury, FinTech halted on a circuit breaker. Look at now. yesterday. Uh, here the high is 440. That's Michael yesterday Fox was Brown nice, too. MSH. We did end up with a four high, which we tested today. But Again, my candles are different. I need this 30 minute, which is going to close at 11:45 for me instead of 11:30. <clears throat> to have two candles inside of uh, value range to tell me that we possibly can go down farther. If you guys notice, my screen's frozen only because I'm trying to load this up on a five-minute 
so it kind of freezes toss until until the time until it's done loading. The two hour. Let's take a look and see what it looks like. Looks like we're just chilling. Four hour closed above 24, the previous. Right now we're holding above it. Yeah. It's just doge it out. Yeah, I see what you're what you're talking about. Right here. Again, above twenty four, you know how I feel about that. Tell us. Tell you. <laughs> the ladle. This is what Pot calls the ladle. This five minutes taking a long time to load all this data. Chicken pot pie. Lucky. Might have to go give me some tacos. Oh, it is Tuesday. It is. Carnitas? Yeah, I like uh Carnitas is good, but I like the um the pork. Well that's that's pork, but they have several different kinds, yeah. Yeah, no, I know. Uh, I'm trying to think of what the name of it is. It's uh Pastor. Right. Yeah, it's kind of like uh, got a little sweet, spicy thing going on. It's pretty good. <laughs> right? 
It's marinated? Yeah, exactly. So good. Might have to go yeah. snag me some of that. Yeah. I stopped at a place yesterday and got a burrito. It wasn't that good. From an authentic place that used to be good. <laughs> so, it's a bad day. <laughs> Just a I, bad day. I didn't read the whole thing. It was like, can you give me like three pounds of rice in this thing? Oh, oh I hate that. Fucking hate that. It is what it is with their prices, Joe. Why the nine Should... limited getting a pop in? Remember Charlie Tangle Yankee? Right. It probably hurt me. I'm sure. It's going to be a lot of restaurants that go under. All this that I know in Chicago, if you don't have any outdoor dining, you're pretty much fucked. Well, they were doing it here inside, and then they stopped that. So you had to be tables to each other. There are right. a couple places that are not still offer it, but they can only have, I think it's either 15 people in a restaurant. So it's like, okay, you guys do 75 seating, you only have 15 at a time. How can they not right. affect the pricing over time? I'd be like, let's just close this thing down and open it. So, so. Seriously, try to save as much as you can. All you're doing is burning cash. Oh, uh, yeah, I see Kroger's on the move, huh? See it, Buck. So, I know that it happens, but I. So, let's look at. So, this is the same options thing on the five minute. Just to kind of play around since we're sitting here doing nothing. So this was yesterday. Other people don't know this, but I have a general contracting company. So then I have Livery Mutual come out, right? The gal will not get out of the car unless we put our masks on and go sit in our car, our truck. What? Yeah. She's out there to inspect a, you know, a property. And she's like, by, you know, by Liberty Mutual's you know, memo, everybody has to have a mask on, and just to protect us as employees, you have to be in your car. So you have to wear a mask in your car? That's what she said. And then she was fine afterwards, because then she wanted to talk. And I'm like, well, I'm getting out of the vehicle to talk to you. you know? She's like, well, I'll walk to the other side of the car. It's fine, but I mean, it was like, I'm not going to get out and do my job unless you guys go get in your car. That's crazy. I'm standing outside. Fuck you. <laughs> right? Seriously. I'm standing on the corner here. I mean, 20 feet away from you. I'm going to go sit in a hot vehicle. It's crazy. Goofy. So it's, people are weird. So guys, you know, here's a five minute look. See, we got a bunch of call buying yesterday at the bottom. That would probably have been helpful. All right. And then uh, today, again, this is a five minute bunch of call buying and calls and put selling or call call and selling activity right here. There's just a lot of activity right here at the low of the day today. Uh, looks like the high of the day where I got a short. I would assume somebody dumped a ton of ton of calls up here because there's a lot of activity. It's kind of a different way to look at it, right? What do you think about this, Bart? I don't know. Well, it's kind of some are red and something, you know, the volume or whatever is green. You don't know why that's triggering that or it's... Well, you know they're puts and calls, right? It's all you know, but you don't know if they're buying or selling. Yeah, the put or the call, right? What's that? Yeah, you just know that there's a lot of activity there. So the red is a put, you're saying, and the green is a call? Correct. Don't yep. know which... But you don't know if they're dumping them or buying them. That's yeah. the only thing. You just know that there's an, a lot of activity there. Unless you pull up the time and sales. So I don't know if you guys know this, um, but if you toss, if you go to trade, and then you have the options open, you can actually do the options time and sales. So you can look at some of the biggest for the day, which was, uh, look at this, 11, at 11, 12 was the biggest of the day. Somebody bought thirty two hundred twenty six hundred dollar puts at five cents that's crazy so let's see at nine thirteen these are legit at nine thirteen somebody bought 
347 calls. So let's look at what 913 was. 913 was this low here at uh, when it came down to 20. So let's see if we got a signal down there at 913. We did. That's what that was about. 850, 855. Let's look and see. of people getting out of their puts, selling their puts. At 8.55, they were dumping their puts. People were just dumping puts at 8.55, 8.53. Are you thinking of broken yeah. Yeah. Interesting. American Federation of Teachers, uh, representing 1.7 million school employees, issued a resolution on Tuesday saying we support any local chapter that decides to strike over reopening of plans. I don't know. I just said school buildings should open up and only in areas where coronavirus infections are low enough. Yeah. I don't. I don't know. We'll see. Safety measures. New York Times says a blood test for Alzheimer's is in reach, according to scientists. That's from the New York Times. I sold the top on the biddy. I haven't looked at Bitcoin, but I, I know it's it was pumping. 9,000 or something, I don't know. It was like almost 11 yesterday. Let's see. Is that where it's at? Is nine now? I don't know. Somebody had posted something. Eleven four. Eleven four. Wow. TLPS. Yeah. Damn, that thing got super close to my oh, level. Top at Sandy. Wow. Look how close that got. It went to eleven four, and I was at. Eleven five. Big bitty. What a hell of a fucking accumulation phase here. They couldn't lose shit either. I was look, look at this daily, like they really couldn't lose anything. This was the support to the high. They tried to come down, found buyers, was never able to get lower again. Well, I guess I can take my buy orders off at 7,000. That's not going to happen. He has us chilling until a new stimulus package. This motherfucker definitely chilling. Fucking boring as shit. Uh, ESPN says uh, Washington national players will not travel to Miami. Seventy percent, yeah, I heard that and another twelve hundred dollar check. Yeah. Oh, the free money. We've basically created a welfare state. There was people fucking on Facebook, my girl said I don't use it, but my girl was telling me that there's people on Facebook petitioning 
to fucking get, you know, because they're going to do away with the $600 extra a week of the, of the unemployment. But there's people petitioning that they don't take it away. Now, mind you, these are people who don't want to go back to work. But <laughs> literally this, this fucking Karen was on there, and she was all like bitching that they were going to take away her $1,200 and that she wanted everybody to sign this petition and blah, 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 blah. You know, we've created a welfare state, dude. Why would you want to go to work when you can make more money sitting at home? Right. I understand. I understand. So there's a girl that worked for my mom. She made $350 a week. She was part-time. She's been on unemployment now for 20-some weeks. I don't know. And she's been getting something like $800 a week with the $600 unemployment. So she was making 350 working, but she's making 850 sitting at home. It doesn't even fucking make sense. <laughs> she's buying lunch, son. Seriously, I'm like, what? Tacos. Makes no sense to me. The bigger issue? Yeah, the bigger issue is who's going to pay for all this shit? <laughs> yeah. I'm going to call in some tacos, I guess. Taco Burrito House. There's no house. <laughs> there is in Chicago. It's the Taco Burrito House. Everybody would just go there and eat it, and the house would fall down. It's like a house made of candy. I didn't answer. How dare you? Maybe they open at noon now. I don't know. Fucking hungry. Why am I getting fucking ads for the money show? I never even heard of that before. Oh. Gold and Bitcoin will both surge higher as long as government liquidity pump stays turned yeah. on. This billionaire investor dude says 20% of his net worth is in Bitcoin. What's this guy's name? Michael Novogratz from Galaxy Digital.
Buffett dumped four hundred million into Bank of America. That was my next one. I know. I'm looking over your shoulder. <laughs> His stock purchased to 1.2 billion in eight days. Jeez. I love how the news always comes up with reasons for whatever. 24 hours afterwards as well. We all know that. Yeah, U.S. stocks decline as investors weigh GOP stimulus plan and earnings disappoint. Yeah. This market hasn't gone anywhere. What the fuck are you talking about? Ten things you need to know before the opening bell. GLB, GLBS, Globus Maritime, uh, low price stock getting a pop here on volume. Golf Lima Bravo Sandy. The U.S. Mint is slowing down how many gold coins it will make because of the U.S. coronavirus pandemic. Warren Buffett's bet on the Bank of America is almost a guaranteed winner, says Bill Brewster. Whatever that is. They say the corn coin issue is because nobody's out there to rotate the coins around. Oh, really? Right. They're not out there spending in the store, so there's no change happening. It's all online, fucking Grubhub, yada, yada, yada on cards. Well, fuck, okay. they don't even want to take cash a lot of the places that you go to anymore. No, I think that's fair. I think it's ridiculous. I go to restaurants all the time. They're like, oh, we don't take cash, or oh, I, we don't have anything smaller. I'm like, it's a fucking 20. <laughs> what the what are you talking about? Next thing you, that happens, just fold it in half and go <laughs> right? <here>. small. <laughs> Dude, they're going to slowly get rid of cash. We've been saying that for years. The beast. Oh, my Lord. Here we go. INSG and Seagull making you say? new highs now. You now it's the mark of the beast. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> uh, 15% today, INSG. Well, what the fuck? I guess I'm gonna go around, go go for this walk since we're doing all this is all this action is just fucking excite the shit out of me. Better order your tacos so you can go get them. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Let me wait two minutes. I think they're. I don't think they open until noon. Coronavirus hours. I wish it pop up to forty one so I could short this motherfucker. Mm. I haven't seen BDK in a few days. I don't know where he's at. Lunch is over. I'm going to have a fucking taco. We're above 24, go long.
Fucking A. It only took 40 minutes, but... MARA, Marathon Patent Group, announcing closing of $6.9 million underwritten public offering of common stock and full exercise of option to purchase additional shares, MARA. I know, I was thinking the same thing. I'm like, man, I maybe I should have fucking really been looking at this thirty two pretty hard. SDCE, uh, Virgin Galactic, uh, Virgin Galactic Reveal Spaceship 2 Cabin Interior, Sandy Papa Charlie Echo, SDCE, press release now. Shares of Virgin, Gal Virgin Galactic uh, moving a bit here, not too much right now, 25.61 up 70 cents for SDCE. So I got a level here at 26.50. For a potential move up, but I don't know, man. It's fucking all this shit. literally right in the middle of the fucking POC, volume POC fuck zone. There's some trap sellers in a 20 uh, at 20 to 22.75.
You have a bit of shit. I think. Do I have your Discord? Uh, up cut at. I I sent the links to everybody. I just want to make sure I have yours. I also posted it in the room, but if you're late coming in, then I know that uh, the messages disappeared. All right, cool. Bart, I'm gonna go for this walk, man. I can't keep waiting. Try to yell at somebody, will you? Oh shit! I see this dude. When you're out there. Do like a oh, it. oh, Jorge, what's up? You know you go there too much when you know the fucking guy by first name. <laughs> I'm like, Jorge, what's up, dude? <sighs> so I forgot to put this in here. I wish I fucking held this. Didn't even hold it to my fucking <laughs> target, but whatever. Kind of a lame ass fucking trade. Definitely should have held it for the rotation. I blame you, Bart. You had me convinced what's going on. Oh, you're a BDK. I didn't say that. Ah, okay, Scalposaurus. No wonder you were fucking long from way the fuck down there. That makes perfect sense now. Now I fucking realize who that is. You holding ass motherfucker. He'll hold for real, for real. <laughs> that makes perfect sense. Perfect. Amazon was 1700 marks. She had like doubled in price. Matt and Tesla, huh? Fucking easy. Easy shit. Amazon was a fucking easy trade, though. If you had the money to buy it, just, it's just so fucking expensive. Even $1,700 ain't cheap. 10 shares is 17 grand. Like, that's fucking. Wow. Alright, what do you see coming up up here? For anything. What are you looking at? Still waiting on the shirt to work out. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what is your target? Uh, old Summon. Yep. Okay. In Q. Let's take a look. Still in the range, too. We're all in the range from yesterday, so... <clears throat> Not a fucking thing. Can't get above the highs, the RTH highs of uh, about 650s and then uh, 33s for ES. Yep. Lots of fun today. We sit in the high end of this P shaped profile. BDK, sure, it can pop and extend. Let's get going. Might wait till the end of the day. The 
possible. What's your target? Are you still fucking long, Scalposaurus, BDK? You still long fucking all all afternoon? Fucking monster. Jeez. What's your target? He's probably swinging a core two five if I had to guess. Tackles. That's your impatient. That's right. your impatient. Impatient. What's your t what's your target, Scout? There's Scout source. Thirty six. Forty one. <laughs> Pompeo says China trying to use trade as trade for sure. Australia. Yeah. That's that. See if we get there. Thirty points are bust. I'm gonna be short in forty one. It's a heavy level. It's what the Globex lost. I'm not telling you what to do, but I would certainly I would certainly uh forty four is a very aggressive target. I'll just say that. Short this pig. Pork tacos. Now the market's okay. I can't believe you guys. Man. <laughs> <sighs> it's a barcola. Yeah, it's got to get above thirty-two, man. You know the you know the routine. We went over this fucking for days now. You know, thirty-two is that four-hour pivot to the high. It's just it just until it gets above it. That's why I wanted to short again when we got up here to fucking thirty-four. You got this four hour pivot here. 32. I should have fucking smacked it here. I don't know. 32. Where's Marl? I don't know. 32 was the right trade. I didn't realize. I should have fucking been looking at my own chart. I didn't realize. I was thinking 32 was. Or 35 was the 32 level. I don't know. I got all ass backwards. No breakouts from Marlo, that's for sure. Damn, I just got all ass backwards on that. That was 32, was it? Yeah, Creed's engine lower too, I saw that. So I got a 30 minute level here at uh, 2650. That doesn't inspire a whole lot of confidence, but it certainly could get a pop. LPCN with the seam, getting a pop here, getting a pop at Charlie November, dollar fifty-two at the high. LPCN. I'm tweaking on that 32 though. Know the numbers. Repeat them a hundred times. LLY, Lily, Lily's PCAL 17 blood test shows high accuracy in diagnosis of Alzheimer's disease and data published in JMA. That's me going to Yankee.
<clears throat> well, obviously, who knows what's going to happen, but sellers right here do not feel that this is a good place to be shorting right here. Yeah. Not that it won't on low volume here, screwing around. We're down 22% on volume right now. Well, Tupac, this fucking 30 minute move up, 26.50 to the tick. CM Williams, I do not want to become famous, but thank you for asking. What a nice to the tick level, guys. I will gladly pay to you free taco with 100 followers. <laughs> you guys, I want to be able to like, I want to be able to post videos on uh, Twitch. I need 15 more followers to be able to post videos. Right now, we can only live stream, so fucking subscribe. So that I can post follow up videos. Right now I can only do it on YouTube. What am I gonna do? Just hit the follow button? Yeah, I think so. Well, there you got one. I wanna be able to put up the same videos we put on YouTube, you know. You have two accounts following. Hell yeah! <laughs> That's what's up, double down. It looks like uh, 2650 was the lick. I am going to walk and go get some tacos. I'll be right back. Hate that when you got to the tick plays and you just leave them alone. Golden view up, so see what happens.
U-O-N-E-K, Uniform Oscar, November Echo Kilo, uh, Urban One moving to the highs, uh, 10.5%, Uniform Oscar, November Echo Kilo. JMPR, Juniper Networks, a uh, sweep in the weekly 24 and a half call that's ahead of earnings tonight for JMPR, Juniper Networks.
NET, Cloud Fire, seeing a uh, call sweep here, uh, August 45 in NET, November Echo Tango, above the ask. <clears throat> CSLT cast light health getting a pop here. Dollar nineteen on volume, Charlie Sandy Lima Tango. We all want to be famous. FTCH, uh, Farfetech, uh, October 25 call sweep now, 1,590 contracts. That's FTCH, Fox Trot Tango, Charlie Hotel share is moving on that. FTCH. FTCH hitting 23.61. Uh, 5% at the high for FTCH off of that call activity. Again, the October 25 call sweep on FTCH. Fox Tot, Fox Trot Tango, Charlie Hotel.
you're going to be famous, BDK, if this goes to 41, 44. You're going to have to dress funny, wear all this weird clothes, bunch of jewelry. Well, yeah, tell them there's food. Man, that uh, those tacos are fire. So it looks like this 30 minute DNW level January was the schnizzle. Financial September, $3 that was a set it and forget it for sure. Uh, that's Twenty-six fifty to the tick. Man. Above twenty-four, should have bought it. Whatever. I know. Well, Scalposaurus, you're above 32 now, so as long as you can stay above that. Shares of Genworth spiking now again. The September $3 call, 9,000 contract. Uh, moving the stock here, $2.27 at the high. Genworth reporting their earnings after the close on Wednesday. ESW. What's up, Jake? Got a burger over there. <coughs> All right, let's look at this one here. Genworth uh, 233 GNW now hit a high of about 6.5% uh, at the high on Genworth. <coughs> Man, I wish I'd have took that and just left. Well, the reason I didn't take it is because I was leaving. Man. I guess that'd be the best way for me not to micromanage it. Okay, my turn. Let me go throw some, warm some stuff up. That is a twenty-seven twenty-five. I kind of want to reshort about up here.
be just for a scalp. Bears are sleeping. Indeed. <laughs> How does the Delta look? Delta's still solid. You get nothing but green coming up. <clears throat> So we're still negative delta on the day, which means there's still more sellers smacking them to bid than there is buyers. Um, we're at negative 7,500 delta on the day. So yeah. in that retrospect, yeah. we're down technically on delta, but in this current move, you've still got some positive delta. Uh, I'd certainly wish I was long. I'm looking to probably try to scalp something at 35. Could totally be wrong here. Uh, we already came up and played this area. They could just straight pop it up to 41. Yeah, 44. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know. CDC reporting 1,126 new deaths due to coronavirus as of yesterday. We've got a poor high right now, which means they're probably popping up. Still a little bit more. This is Clobex POC. We need to get a couple blocks above to have a good high in. <coughs> How was it, Jake? CDC reporting Alright, Bards. Mm. I'm gonna try to reshore 35 when we get up here. If we get up here. Thirty-two, thirty-two. Oh yeah, that's right. You look on the <clears throat> on which one we'll call it. On book map. Well guys, volume's down twenty percent. So fucking I mean, sucks. Hold. No oh, surprise. Thirty-two twenty-five was my uh, target. If I get filled on this short, it's my first target. Then twenty-eight. Thirty-two 
31, 25. Yeah, I could see that too. That's that 30 level that we are struggling with. This whole 32 to 30 area. <laughs> the ladle? He loves the ladle. He calls this fucking little little thing right here. So, see me on the so screen? Hard. He calls this the ladle. I see no mouse. Oh, there you go. So looking at this, guys, like we once we get above thirty four seventy five, actually we got to get above in the, into the thirty sevens like we did before. Yeah, single prints exactly. Uh, oh, the ladle brings the gravy. We're gonna start getting the single prints at thirty seven. I love homemade gravy. The ladle brings the gravy. <laughs> These guys. Genworth, more uh, fall activity. Uh, Golf November whiskey. Now DraftKings, the weekly thirty-eight dollar fall suite and DKNG DraftKings. Slow volume shit sucks. Bar, we should be long above twenty-four. Not trying to short. <clears throat> Just throwing it out there. Brings the gray bee. <laughs> yeah, they actually do, but there's a thirty minute looking solid. I'll give you that. Probably a fool for trying to shore here. We've already tested this once. But so this is building up. We'll see. If I just pop right over this motherfucker. Yeah. At twenty eight level, yeah. Um, okay. So last week here is media See, did we just put in a good high? No, a single print. Touched Globex as POC just now.
well, what are you going to do here, guys? What are you going to do? I'm sure, but I don't like it. It's not coming down. It's not doing anything, but still. I feel like when these fuckers bring it down faster than they bring it up, and when it doesn't come down, it's not a good sign. Yeah. Well, there was 500 below me, and they just pulled it. Let's see what that means. Anything. Is that the buying or the selling? That's the buying. Sure looks like we're going up. I agree. I probably just got to break even right here. Wishful thinking. The long was where it was at in my 30 minute. <clears throat> right here. Now I'm sitting here on a fucking pipe dream trying to get short for five points. I just fucking eat this for a point. I don't know though. Certainly looks like we're headed up to 41. This was a pipe dream here. Playing the levels. Come on. Give me some negative delta. CLH, the Regent Cruise Line Doesn't mean shit yet, but at least we got little buyers coming out uh, for now. Hitting the market. 1433 on the Regent Cruise Line Holdings. Yeah, I know. That was your exit. That was a good exit. I can get out right now for plus one if I wanted to, but I don't think I'm gonna. I'll probably, I'll probably maybe stop out at the local high. 3650 just to reduce my risk be a point and a half if not it's gonna come get me we'll see what happens ESC 
ISM and INTC uh, trade is circulating a report. Intel's Ponta Vecchio certainly and doesn't want to come down. GPU will not be manufactured on TSMC's six nanometer process that Tango mm -hmm. Sandy Micro and India November Tango Charlie. Data report from WC CF Tech. Or above the previous day's high, 32.33.75. Shares of uh, Taiwan Semiconductor uh, moving a bit lower, 77.32 TSM. And shares of Intel uh, just a slight bit lower now, 49.63 on Intel, uh, TSM and INTC. Gotta get under, who's there? <clears throat> yep, gotta get under 33.75. Otherwise, I'm fucked. That's what we just touched. Yeah. Keeping it tight. Looks like we got orders stacking up below us here. 400s. Zip, cup and handle within a cup and handle. Pimp my ride, it's old school. It's gotta lose this thirty three seventy five. If not, I am fucking worked over. Yo, dog, I heard you like collars. We pop collars and we have collars, so we have collars. We pop collars. <laughs> Crazy. Well, this looks like a bust to me. Maybe I should just take one off. TVs and the rims. I remember that stupid shit. These guys used to do all kind of dumbass shit to cars. So once again, guys, uh, as you can see, 33.75. Yesterday's high of the day. That's what we're holding right now. They can't seem to get underneath it. Um, we're pop we just popped off of it. I am probably Gonna eat this point and a half. I don't see a reason to Hold it any harder than that um, Basically just stopping out at the local high if it was gonna go it's gonna go uh, I'm not gonna fuck around with it. it Does seem like there's an awful lot of buying though, and they're not getting anywhere So we'll see I don't want to let tick strike shake me out. But 
<clears throat> even with that being said, Tick Strike don't, you know, it's hard to deny the fact what's happening here. Just they fucking buying. Come on, this is where you drop. Come on. I'm not trying to fuck your, your shit up, Scalposaurus. I just want a few ticks. Just want a few points. Q is still trying right now, getting below this 625 is going to be important. It's at 632. I'm trying to put a red candle in. We just started a new 30 minute. Yeah, exactly. New 30 minute, new hour. A little something might be useful here. Gotta lose thirty three seventy five, otherwise it's fucking right back up. You know, so I'm trying to get this low here, which is probably a fucking. I should probably be smart, <clears throat> take it one tick before the new low, and then if we're gonna fucking go, man, this thing is fucking freaking me out. So NQ is trying, trying to stay below the value high below it right now on that candle if you see it depending on where you have it set at so <clears throat> i'm talking yesterday's value high gotcha Fuck out with it right there yeah we, we keep going down we're holding 33 50 33 75 i should have just took the point and fucking called it right there oh. that was probably it eloi till ready multiple activity uh january Seven and a half call sweep on TLRY till rank. Yeah, that was it. Ain't that a bitch? Crude's still coming down, the two pot. Fucking slithery snake, that thing. Some volume in NQ down. Apparently, I can't get fucking filled for nothing here. Let's go. I only want fucking two points. Fuck. GNW, Genworth Financial, multiple activity, September $3 sweep on Golf and River Whiskey. Just fucking take one here. <clears throat> in DraftKings, DKNG, weekly 38 call sweep on DKNG. Look at this fucking bullshit. Still holding that fucking number. Fuck it, I'll take IRM, something Iron Mountain, out. Indy Romeo Michael. Uh, August 30 calls sweep now in IRM. Currently at. Looks like it's gonna hold this. $28. That's Indy Romeo Look Michael getting a small pop here. IRM. It's giving me 10 chances to get out. I should probably just take it. Call it. It looks like it's charging up for a pop.
down, I think I'm down to five points this time. I feel like I've seen this show one too many times. Take my fucking point and call it. I'm done. Dope trades. What's up? What's up, dope? Dope in the motherfucking house. What do you got? What'd you post over here? Oh shit! Is that me? Oh, the dude from fucking Vice City. <laughs> What's up? Slow day today, huh? The action's fucking slow. Let's see if it would have eventually got me. 3275. Not sure it's gonna make it. Guys, we are holding yesterday's high right now. 3375. This is it. We don't have anything amazing over here either. It's really not looking awesome on the deltas got no flips we got nothing it's just kind of percolating doesn't mean they won't fucking do something special here but guys i just seen just now we're losing volume as the day is progressing here we are now down 24 and a half percent on the day for volume it's fucking no wonder Q trying to push in the PLC for today. I'm short 35. Oh, my target. One tick. Got it. So it's not that we're saying I hate this low volume shit, man. It's hard to deal with this shit. I'm like so impatient. When it doesn't move, I get fucking nervous. So as you guys know, I was short a bunch of options. Just we time premium has melted these down. Uh, near Benton, I was short uh, from three bucks. Near the airport. Uh, I got out of all of them at two. Still melting. Uh, 175 was uh, one of my targets. I took them all at two on that pullback. But uh, yeah, so some little option strategy action here. That was nice for the day. That helped me out a lot, to be quite honest. Yeah, I agree. I agree, dude. That's why I was like, man, this shit ain't going. I'm gonna fucking bounce on this bitch. Plus, we know what it's holding, right? We we know it's holding yesterday's high. We got yesterday's close just a few ticks below it at 32.25. I mean, we're in the danger zone for shorts. It's definitely looking much better for longs.
Definitely much better for the long action. I will be shorting up here, guys, no question, 41. 41 to 36. Bringing it back. I'm glad I fucking got out of that piece of shit. The only time fucking I like when a trade doesn't do anything is if I'm fucking short options and it's going in my direction. It can sit there all fucking day. It's then time is in your on your favor. But the future is nice, you're worrying the fuck out of me. Volume down twenty five percent, I don't like that either. So our five to ten day average is hundred and eighty five ticks. We gotta take we gotta take uh twenty five percent off. We're gonna move this is crazy. So let's just show you. 185 ticks is our 5 to 10 day moving average. We're down 25%. So if you take 25% off 185, it's 138 ticks. We have moved equal relationship right now to what we're supposed to move with volume where it's at, which is pretty interesting. Theta gang, I love the theta gang because I don't really, I'm not long, I don't really buy a lot of options so I like to sell options a lot more so for me theta is always on my side but I totally feel you if you like to if you like to buy options if you're always long options and yeah fucking theta is a fucking monster you better look to buy options that are at least a month out if you don't want theta to eat that ass up do I work the wheel what does that mean Just the pull. <laughs> that was good, Pac. That was good. I like that. Good for you. That was sharp. Made some scratch. What's up? Two tick. Option strategy, the wheel. Let's see what this is about. I think covered calls on steroids. So what they're talking about is is owning the physical. So that would be like me having the futures and selling the opposite side as insurance. Would be my guess. I haven't I didn't read this, but I'm just looking from what I know about anything covered means uh, covered calls means that you own the physical. So a lot of guys do it with stock. Uh, look at that fucking now she's coming down the retest. So a lot of guys do like if you owned uh, 100 shares of Amazon or 200 shares of Amazon, you sell the calls. That way, if it pull back, you make money on the premium. But if it blasts through your calls, you don't really lose anything because the stock gains at the same time the calls. So you would just actually forfeit your stock, which kind of sucks too. But it's definitely a way to not get. Uh, Post. It's like almost yeah, like insurance in a sense. To the highs here, you form Alpha Lima. I do not work the wheel. The answer is no. I do not work the wheel. California reporting. Because I don't usually own the physical. New uh, virus cases lowest since July 6. Oh look at that bar 32.75. That was me, buddy. Keep going. Well, not anymore. But yeah, I hear you. I know some some of us needed to keep going. So the Nasdaq is sitting there at the PLC. So 
Lose of the PLC pushes that down. I need uh, ES to lose the value. Lose of the PLC. Pardon? What is it? <laughs> no, I was just being stupid. The piece of shit? Yeah. Uh, Fucking. CL popped up to 85, son. No. Look at it. Sheboygan of that forge hours. Almost. 83 was the four hour. We got a pop of 86. It's a nice fade off of this one. I need to go through and redraw this. I haven't done it since last week, Pac. I looked at it just very briefly. I was more looking at gold today because I, uh, I'm all about this short up here. I'm just waiting. Just waiting. I already got order set. Just waiting. I told you guys the dangers of this gold, though, man. We're coming off this weekly here. It's just a fucking problem. Now, this was the last weekly and daily untested <clears throat> to a new all-time high. We came down and basically tested it. So we held the support support here, and now we're popping up. This is what Globex lost. I'm all about this. I love this fucking trade somewhere in here. I hope it's here, but it could come up to here. But it should easily pull back to, you know, the 45 to... 37 area you know if we get lucky and it loses yesterday's open and close it should come all the way back down to the beginning of where we started this move up at but i'm only going to try to get uh 20 bucks out of it i say only it's 200 ticks but as volatile as this thing has been um this thing's spitting out 20 bucks like it's nobody's business so this is a nice this is going to be a nice trade CL, CL pop something serious. Guys, we still got a poor high. Poor high. So forget about Globex, it's nonsense from last night. Even though this POC was important to me for the short from 35. Uh, really what I'm kind of looking at are these single prints right here let's pretend this doesn't exist uh, actually you know what I'll do next week we are experiencing holding getting a pop here uh, Judge ruling Comcast and fringe patents that's actually pop at Echo Romeo next week we are here we go so really we got to start these are the single prints that we should try to repair at some point. Here. Doesn't mean it's going to happen today, but um, you know, I'm trying to short up in here. Here's fucking BDK's target at 44. That would make sense because it would repair most of the single prints, leaving a single block. Um, I'll be trying to short up in here at 41, 42. So, you know, this area, this is an area of low volume. Generally, single prints need repaired. Also, a lot of times, single prints um, could be uh, an area of rejection. Is the upward momo too much? Not, not okay. So you got to think about this, dude. Think. Let's think about it in the direction of what we've. What are we? What are we getting above? What are we? What are we steadily gaining in the process here, right? So we've talked about this. And I wouldn't necessarily call it. Um, I mean, you could call it momentum, yeah, but, okay, so let's think about this. We have to lose certain things in order for California this to take place, right? So we've got this four-hour four hour, uh, support here, right? That was 15. We could not lose that this morning. This was so fucking key this morning. It was so important. Then we've got 24, which is the weekly and the daily support to the high. We know that, right? So we're above this. We're above this. Now we've got this this ordeal here, which is 32, which is we're sitting on above right now. Okay, so you got to just keep thinking. We're, we're, right now we're just gaining, so momentum is still to the upside. The next thing that we need to get above is where we just smacked off of just now, 
which was 3575 or 36. This would be the four hour support to our local high. Okay, so once we start getting up into this area here and we get above this, then we start, we start, you know, we're, we're in this area. So, you know, you just got to keep thinking once we get up below this, then we got to lose this. Once we lose this, then we got to lose the weekly. Once we lose the weekly, then we get below this. To me, right now, we are definitely up until we get underneath 16 because we couldn't get underneath 16 this morning. Uh, I would say that momentum is clearly up uh, above 16. You know how I feel about 24. I've been talking about it for two days. I think 24 is so fucking significant. It's not even funny. Uh, and then obviously 32 is when we shift direction. So if we can lose, well, I guess it would be 92 is when we shift direction. Because 92 is the other swing pivot high that we have that, as you guys know, we just can't seem to lose no matter what. So I still think we, at some point we come down and test 3,200. Don't know when it'll be. Um, but we don't really shift direction until we lose 92. And I wouldn't say we'd shift actual momentum until we lose 16. Would you agree with that, Bart? I do. Uh, I didn't want to cut you off. Go ahead. That's helpful there. I think he was asking about gold. Oh, gold. My bad. <laughs> Fuck me. <laughs> oh, fuck me. All right, then. Um, gold. Could there be more downside? <laughs> yeah, thanks a lot. Could there be more downside, or is the upward Momo too much? Upward Momo is strong as a motherfucker, man. So, like, you know, that's why I'm looking to take this short. Only for two reasons. One, it's a four hour level, it's high time frame. It's the next high time frame besides a daily. And this is what the Globex high lost, right? So this was the area in which these guys at London and whoever else decided that they couldn't hold. So we'll come back up and test this. We should smack from here, there's no question. I don't know if it's gonna be here or here or right in the middle somewhere, but we should smack from this. When we do, this is our four hour support right now, it's 35. So we've got to get underneath that. But the real shift in momentum right now is 1900. So we have to get under 1900 before we can come to, I was looking at it before uh, today, before we could even come down here to 1870. So this would shift direction for us temporarily. It wouldn't change the overall higher time frame move it would just shift our lower time frame momentum. So this would be essentially like the progression back and forth, but the, the higher time frame is still intact. I mean, if we look at the daily, you know, I mean, fucking come on. I mean, you gotta, we've gotta lose, we gotta lose fucking 1800 before we actually go, before we actually reverse directions, right? So let's just get that out of our head right now that's not going to fucking happen if we come down to 1800 you better fucking get long that's without a doubt but so what happens is, is this would just shift the direction for the time being which would probably short to 1870 um, and that's how i would look at it and then if we got underneath the 1860 we'd come down to 1820 and start playing these levels down here so and then for a pop back up. But the overall trend is still up. There's no question about it. I hope that makes sense. Um, we had to basically lose 1800 before we reverse direction. Momo is up. Momo is up, up above 1900. So do I think that this is going to short from 1960? Fuck yeah, I think it's going to short. Do I think we're going to lose, come below 1900? It would be a fucking shot in the dark. Um, I would probably try to hold any lower than 1940 to. 1910 because here you have another something untested that was the origination of this move up so this would be like the, the low and then this would be the retest the low so like in the terms of progression it could step up from this level boom 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 kind of like we're doing here see what i'm saying so i would be surprised if we lost 1900 anytime soon if we do i'll probably start building a long position all the way down um, so we'll see I hope that answers the question. But the answer is yes. We could Momo's up. Thank you. Go fuck yourself, Bart. Well, I was wondering if you could give us an overview on the tacos. 
the, <laughs> the pastor was amazing. It had a little hint of taco, a little hint of, uh, of uh, pineapple in there. It was fucking incredible. <laughs> they hand make their salsas. So real quick, I'm just gonna call you Dad. I fucking I can't. I don't know. This right here would be our big number, just to let you know. 36. 36 is our four-hour support. This would probably be the farthest I could see this coming down. Maybe 1910 if we're lucky. But because if we got underneath this, you'd be losing yesterday's open and close. You'd lose a whole day's worth of fucking open and close range. So just a thought. What'd you think, Dope? Did I do a good job? Did you like that? So I've got some trap sellers. It's like the RSS fucking sitting at 22. I don't have really have a level there, but it does make sense given this little fucking move here. Company announced they had one order from gas project center in Canada earlier today. That's SYTR. Has the world come to an end yet, or? Jeez, seriously. <laughs> this short actually worked out to my... <laughs> Fuck. I just couldn't sit in it. I just couldn't do it. Volume's now down 27%. See, and that makes me worried, right? Like we come into a level, and you gotta wonder, will it, will it hold the level, or will it, the low volume just push right through them? It'll be interesting to see if my final target will get hit. Thirty-one seventy-five. No, thirty. Thirty-one. I think. Here's some gold action over here. So this is the this is the 65 and the 58 area. So I was looking at this right because we got 65 and then we got 59, 60. Here's this, the guy is trapped right here. We got this acceleration from this area here, which is 65. Um, so that's why I said it could happen anywhere in between here, 65. I really don't want to see it come to 68, but it could because it's all within this area here. The 58, on the other hand, would be the move that the high lost. It was support that the high lost. So I was like really trying to figure out where these guys were at. This is basically the volume that I came up with, which is these guys were up in here. They essentially got trapped. So we'll see. I always try to take some of my levels and match it up with the volume, see uh, you know how we can have it make sense on the on the volume wise. Um, this first move's a little a little uh, 
unclear, but the 65, I'm sorry, the, yeah, the 65 is very clear. But I, looking at the chart, I actually like this move better than this one. So we'll see. I'm going to average into it. Well, there you go, Bart. 35 again. Motherfuck. Kick her in. I know. Yeah. Just fucking need to hold my shit. That was my target. 30 50. Yeah. I got all fucking scared when we weren't doing anything. I hate that shit. You ever look at this cumulative delta indicator bar? Ian McConnell says no bill will be put on the floor without liability protection. Said liability protection provision is not for business only. What's this for? I said, do you ever look at the cumulative delta type type thing? No, no, I have in the past or whatever, but it's the same thing as a MACD or whatever, just trying to do divergence or reverse divergence. Sometimes yeah. It's it's the exact daily delta that's on my PNF chart. It just puts it in a bar form. I was just curious if you ever looked at it. It's I don't know if it's useful or not, but I had it up just to kind of watch it. According to this right now, we're gonna pop back up. According to crude futures still at forty one oh four down fifty six cents. The previous low, but the price is above the previous low, so that is a reverse divergence. Hmm. Basically, they're saying it's getting too extended on the move down by volume, and the price is not following. Well, guys, I hate to say it. Maybe it's just because I got roasted yesterday, but you know, I've had some two excellent shorts that I did not let play out here. I'm very much plus on the day, but definitely... Uh, let this shit get in the way. This low volume shit. Yeah. <sighs> Down 27%. Look at gold. Gold's fucking crazy. The five to ten day moving average is 359 ticks. We've moved 745 today. It's fucking insane. What level is right on VWAP? What are you talking about, Dad? Gold? Oh, the ES. Yeah, so the ES, we actually had a level right here at 2650. I touched it to the tick. I took it off because it's been played. But it's when I left for lunch. Touched it to the tick. UAL, the United Airlines. Ten fucking points. Oh, right here? Uh, 6820. 
Oh yeah, right here, yep. Well, we had a level here too, I'll show you. I'll, I'll put it back on the chart so you can see it. This was it right here. This is a 30 minute leg up right here. Whoop, inky. That's right when I went to lunch. I don't think you were here for that. But I just took it off not too long ago. It was perfect. I'll leave it there just for well, that's, context. That's the question is do we need to, so we can make this a little more active, but then we can add this. But yeah, you're right. VWAP sitting right on our daily right now. So that's what's really tricky. This is just the structure, and then we'll see what it does when we get into the RTH. Look at this RTH from 1230, 1223. Look, I mean, fucking to the tick, bang. Slow shit today. So Bart, you're telling me that with the ES, I'm I don't trade it like you do. Or you've been trading it for years. The summer hours are pretty bad, or what? This is more of the FMOC. Ah. Uh, yeah. Last year was fine. The summer. There's been some times where it slows down a little bit. You'll have a day or two in the week. You're like, fuck, we're not even moving eight points. But we, you know, you can't complain about this. I mean, it's up, you know, fuck, I don't know, it's about 15, 14. Yeah. After 50. So you had to move down and move back up. So I guess, relatively speaking, we don't move 40 fucking points in a day. We feel like we're not blessed. <laughs> it's true. We're spoiled now. Can Biden just hurry up and fucking win the election so we can trade the sell off or what? Oh. <clears throat> I'm not a politician, guys, who care less, but I sincerely believe that if that guy wins, we're going to get to ride this motherfucker all the way down. Until we get models of We got a dictator in office now, and he's fucking propping this bitch up. <laughs> you could see how him and Putin could be boys, though. They got the similar fucking business mentality. Yeah. So that's right. So that's when you go to the next slide. So this is where we had it. So this is where we had it. This is status. Yep. You already know. <laughs> yeah. Election night. Market smash. I'll be trading that. I don't trade Globex, but I'll be trading the election. Yeah, if Sleepy Joe wins. Kim Jong Un seems more on Trump's level. Yeah, dude, we'll bring fire and brimstone. Dude, when he told him that something about he would bring fire, fire and destruction to him, I was fucking dying. Like this, these dudes are fucking crazy. Get them, babe. You get them. Oh no, Marlo's in the house. Marlo, where you at? Where's he at? He just popped in the room or something. Can't you hear those sticks? Oh, I should have known. The MPI, Delmar, Palmer, yeah, toddlers and controller nukes. Feel that. Guys, this, uh, you know, we look at last night. Look at this fucking 30. It's a big level. And then we fucking resistance, resistance, resistance. Guess we should have been looking at this for the long. Long term, this is how I structure the business at this point. 
Can't wait to get you guys in Discord, man. It's gonna be so much easier to communicate. That shit sucks on Twitch. I can post some some memes and talk some shit. I have to worry about YouTube blocking us for fucking playing nonsense. You got long 31, Tupac. That's a good level, bro. You gotta lose 30. Fucking hold it. I wish I'd have got a long. I, this is awful, I know. Down 27% on the volume. It makes me not even want to do anything. It makes me worried about my short up higher if we go into it. I know, I'm not into it either. Yesterday, you see me, I got off early. Bro. Yesterday it took all fucking day. Oh, well, I got off at one thirty, and it took like two and a half hours for it to grind up five more points. It's like, jeez. When I woke up, I, you you texted me or hit me on the fucking Discord. It's like we hit thirty one. I'm like, when I went to sleep, we were fucking where were we at? Fucking twenty seven. I just realized this is tested. You motherfucker. Damn, I'm glad I saw that. That might be a wash. You having fun yet, Bart? Try to fucking get motivated to go to the gym today. I haven't been all week and fucking this type of action does not help anything. Ready for a nap. TMDI, some pet news being circulated now. Tango Michael Delta, India. TMDI. So we started filling in these fucking. No, we didn't. The MBI type medical shares hopping on uh, patent uh, posting circulated now. Still getting rejection off these single pads. McConnell says he opposes non-germane amendments, including FBI provision and health care out at the end of the process. Miami Herald says the Miami Marlins season has been temporarily paused. That's from the Miami Finally Herald. Finally taking a little dip. Yeah. 
shares of DraftKings are dipping a bit here now, 34.99 on the headline again. Uh, according to the Miami Herald, the Miami Marlins season has been temporarily stopped. You talking about the CME BTC? That's what I was trading all the time. Yeah, it's just forward slash BTC. Dude, it 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 doesn't line up. There's sometimes it's a hundred dollars off, sometimes it's twenty dollars off. So I would have to keep up uh, trading view on the side to see where the levels kind of played out. But the thing is, is the weird thing about it is if you run up into a four-hour daily on CME. You know, this, the futures would control the the physical, which I thought was interesting. But what's also was interesting is you had to be There's careful because King, sometimes uh, the physical would run into a high time frame now. level, and you couldn't figure out where the foot, why that you why you were getting the move or why the front run, yeah. and that was it. it was because of the price difference. So I would use Bitfinex. The Bitmex is, is uh, in the stimulus price box. charting, and on and then I'd look at the CME. But that's the one that's five to one that we were talking about. It's, it's every one contract is five Bitcoin. I was trading the shit out of it every day. I loved it, but then Bitcoin's been doing a whole lot of nothing. So, fucking yeah, it was, it was fun. Tupac knows. Tupac probably remember when I was fucking Bitcoin crazy doing the CME. Five to one action. I was always posting in our room. Dude, that thing would move a hundred bucks. Every hundred dollars that it moved, you'd make five hundred dollars on on the fucking futures. So if it moved a thousand bucks, you'd make five G's. It was ridiculous. But you have to use if you wanted. What the crazy part is because the volume's so low. Like, let me see what the volume is today. Fourteen thousand is the volume today, which is pretty, pretty good actually. Um, you got to use like the twenty-one tick or the thirteen tick to actually look at it. Here, I'll show you. Because if you look at it on a four hundred tick, it just looks like this or whatever. So you have to go in and see. I even got them preset up here. Eight tick, thirteen tick. Now you can fucking see it. This thing's boss. CME Bitcoin is a shit. I fucking love this thing. HMHC, how's Mifflin continuing to get Finally. up here? Finally, get some shit. On uh, reports circulating that the city of Columbus, Ohio, using the company for online learning. K to 12, uh, now $2.65 at the high. Take. HMHC, hmm. shares of K12, oh, the loss of and uh, hmm. smoke uh, move higher, 47.70. Now on Lima Romeo November, hmm. McConnell says there is zero chance that America can get back to normal without the liability protection. Tick. Even the 89 ticks too much. <laughs> it's crazy. Love CME Bitcoin. It's fucking awesome. In every specs level, so good. Man, every specs level. I should be moving. Two thirty-five. Eee, that's where I was short from, fool. I didn't hold it though. I just took my little fucking 
three points or two and a half points and got out, I was so fucking scared from all this fucking back and forth, slow, no volume ass having shit. It's the exact thing I was short from, 35. I just took five on and on. I don't get you. How did you get back in at 35 if you took five from the first? Oh, I don't know. I'm confused, but it's all good. Yeah, so you're out already? Ah, gotcha. So it's funny that you say that because my uh my original exit was thirty fifty. But I didn't hold it. I got fucking I got screwed. I just don't like when that we don't move. Probably. It's crazy to bank the cash. Yeah, I wish I'd have held mine. Good call. It's a nice trade. We had the same entry too. Yeah, me too. I took a loss this morning. Um, Bart got short 29 and I got short early and I just miscalculated. Didn't realize that 29 was the short. I took a loss there, and then I took a small loss, and I tried to fucking short 16. Same fucking bullshit from yesterday. I tried to short 16. I kept it tight. I stopped out at 18, and I took this short. I took a one-point loss. Took this short. Took this short. Then I fucking shorted those puts. Now I'm up on the day, but I'm not holding my trades like I need to be doing. So... <sighs> I really thought we were going to come up and fucking test this and come down to 3,200. I thought it was going to come up and test and come down, and we didn't. We fucking held this area. Yeah, I'm up. I'm up good. I'm not up a grip, but I'm up enough. So, I certainly would have liked to have uh, caught that long at lunch. And held my shorts. If I held my shorts a little bit longer today, I'd be fucking gravy. Just gotta get out of that fucking. Yesterday shook me a little bit. I ain't gonna stop. Let the emotions get a fucking hold of me. Happens to the best of us, man. I feel like every day, every time I take a good ass whooping, the next day is uh, a little timid. RTS, Gridstone Oncology, getting a pop here uh, from your Tango Sandy, GRTS. Well, I certainly still want a long, long 18. I don't think we're going to come down there, but. Get rid of this level now. Gridstone, uh, shares hitting a high of 377 now, 366. GRTS.
Scalposaurus, you still long, bro? You still got one on? Or did you add on down here, you fucking crazy man? I do. I know you do. <laughs> I know you do. He wants that 44 so bad. <laughs> 44. I know. I know what you're after. I know what you're after. I smell it. I just keep looking at this gold trade. Check this out. <laughs> Look at this thing on a 30 minute. Man, could that really be any cleaner? Could these really be any fucking cleaner? And these are just clean ass fucking up. Yeah, I'll agree with you. It clearly, clearly wants higher. I know. I think we're gonna test what we what Globex lost. I think we're, you're gonna make it to your fucking. I mean, you say forty four. It might it might go there. I am certainly gonna be shorting forty one to forty two twenty five. That open bar high held. What does that mean? Open bar. I held. Bond closing. Two minutes. Where's Marlin? I bet you fucking anything. Opening range high today. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, okay. I got you. That was at uh, 30.50. Yeah. Bet you anything Marlin fucking chimes in here in a few minutes. It's fucking 2 o'clock, bond closing. 30, your TP. Yeah, okay. RTP, I just didn't hold. Is that what you mean? Damn. Let's trade some gold this week. Let's fucking do it. I'm all fucking about gold. Did you? I'm all about the gold, trust me. This ES shit. I mean, it's good. It's been paying the bills. Don't get me wrong, but love the gold. Gets me all excited. Fucking gold member. I really want gold to pull back for FOMC. Would love for it to pull back to 1800. This grind is tough, man. It's just been this week so far. Yeah, I think tomorrow will change too. It's just been a fucking grind this week.
SYPR, Cypress Solutions, getting another pop here to the high, SYPR. <laughs> nice. Enjoy it. My kids are fucking old. They don't even want to hang out with me, so. Same spot. CSU, Charlie Sandy Uniform getting up up here. Uh, CSU. Capital Senior Living getting up up here to the high 76 cents on volume. Clackety clack. I know. That was our short from fucking 35. It's good for 10 points. God, I feel like goofy. Here we go with 26 again. Get a little liquidity pop for you. I'm not sure how good it's going to be, but the swing pivot high. So like I was telling you guys earlier when we were looking at where this thing was at, you know, negative delta on the days, now down 14,000. Yeah, I hear you on the five points, man. It's certainly good. It's usually my T1. Um, yeah, negative delta is 14,000 with volume down 25%. So. It's interesting. It means we got fourteen thousand more people smacking the smacking the bid versus the ask.
So guys, I really want to get long 19 down here. I probably will. I just hate this low volume. But I'll probably get long anyway. Yeah, we'll put, you know, it's COVID-19 hospitalizations for oh, 102 on the I know, right? On Tuesday, that's in the state of Florida. Corners in the house. It's been, it's been a slow day on the deaths. We need some deaths to talk about. There hasn't been fucking nothing for news all day. Options. Fucking bullshit. Let me get rid of all that. <clears throat> Without liability protection. What does that even mean? That's a fucking beautiful short. You've got something to do. Progress is being made with stimulus talks. <clears throat> Let's throw some more money at this thing. Can you adopt a pet during the coronavirus? It is crazy that dogs can get coronavirus. Only monkeys. And walruses, apparently. <laughs> Dude, the stimulus, they need to let this shit fucking play out, man. Like, the market's never going to be able to adjust unless it just does it automatically. You got a Twitter notification? Did you send it on me now? Stimulus? Yeah. I don't know what he's talking about. From you? You posted something? I mean, I yeah. posted something, yeah. From you. Here we go. Coronavirus deaths. Yes. Mortician about. The, the coroner's posting stuff. Yes. All right, buddy. Tupac, I don't blame you, mother. Yeah. This is bad. I think you're up for the day, right? <clears throat> Scalperama. Wait. I'm down. No. Okay. Tomorrow is another day. This fucking low volume shit's for the birds, bro. Fading fast myself. <coughs> Coronavirus caused meat prices to spike. Beef prices have increased more than 25 percent. I haven't noticed it at uh, Costco. They're preparing us. Right. Oh yeah, that's right. We got cannabis earnings on Wednesday. I'm curious to see how that plays out. I don't think any of those companies are going to do what they need to do until the U.S. goes legal. By then it might be too late to get into it at a good price, but still.
Today, oil is steady as it awaits a Fed decision in oil inventories. Expectation is that crude supply will rise, may hold oil back. Products may decrease, but oil demand concerns are weighing on mines. China's Copco says a total of 12 employees of Timbu's grains export plant in Argentina test positive for COVID-19. Plant has been temporarily shut down. Suspension expected to last about a week. We didn't get many hurricanes this year. Did you notice that we had one? It didn't really do anything. Guess I never thought about it. This is like hurricane season for oil. The magic hour. Yeah, CGC and all that. Yeah, that's all the weed shit. They're all anticipating Afria's earnings tomorrow. That's why I was thinking about it. So funny, four dollars, and I think this was the level here that I was looking to buy it at, and then it just went way down. And I was like, "Well, fuck that." And now we're fucking three, three x up. CGC. Yeah, look at that fucking support. Bing, bing, bing. I don't even know when I marked this shit. Fucking forever ago. You're probably high. I probably was. This is when I was in Greg's room. So somebody either just bought or sold a bunch of fucking calls. My guess would be sold calls or got out of their calls. Let's see if we can pull up our time in sales. See if they're relevant. Thirty seventy five put. Oh, here we go. Thirty two fifty calls. Somebody just bought. You know what? I'm glad you said something about the days open. I totally forgot to uh, mark that. I had to redo. I had to, redo test I had to redo my charts and everything. Let's go, baby. Three more red bars down. Uh, Reuters now with an updated headline, Major League Baseball postpones old Miami Marlins game through Sunday due to COVID-19 outbreak within the team. That from Reuters now, a statement from Major League Baseball. Thank you for reminding me of this, uh, that today's open. There's a draft game if you can. G fell. Uh, earlier on the original headline that the season had been temporarily suspended and uh, shares now at 34.85 ticking slightly higher on the updated explanation from Major League Baseball. <laughs> <laughs> you laughing at me? No, he said when he was talking about the Miami Marlins, he thought he was talking about fishing. <laughs> <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.
So I got some trapped right here. I don't know if we're going to get a reaction. There's no more fishing allowed. Right? How we can fish. So we might get a reaction right here, guys. I have a trapped right here. Getting a little delta flip action. I don't have another level here, so I'm, I'm not going to take it. Um, but there is a possibility that we'll get a pop here. Thank you. Toast to the low. Thank you. It's probably got another, not that it's going to pop, but it should draw 515. So it's at 550 here. So another 50. Fitty. Fitty? What does that equal in the ES? Because I'm going to get long 19. Uh, it's going to be pushing around 19. A little below it, actually. Probably 18. He said social distancing is difficult on a boat. So it's funny that you think that you say that because we're going to, in Chicago, they're going to start doing drive in movie theaters on a boat. I saw this where you, you rent a little boat and you go out on the fucking, I don't know if it's going to be at the lake or at the river, but they got a big screen where you basically sit in this fucking boat and you watch a movie. And like my mom said, she goes, that's cool as hell. She's like, what happens when you got to pee? I never thought about that. Well, wasn't that you telling me that you guys were doing some other things too, not in the parks or whatever else? And then you have to like order from the food trucks and then they bring the food to you. you yeah, the, the street food festivals food. online. Yeah. yeah. That's what that was. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, they're trying, but come on. I know. Shut down 4th of July, all that crap. What do you expect's going to happen? So this level is uh, HFT level right here. I'll just put it out oh there. Oh, my Lord. It is. Yeah. Like, Proof of that? <laughs> I don't have evidence, but this is one that he would have marked. So the high wick from... 724 on the RTH is 1925. 19, as we know, is significant. It's a pivot point. I'm just going to get try to get long at 19. I hope I don't get ran the fuck over. God damn it, fucking Piper. We were both short from 35. Son of a bitch. Oh, they're not pushing it here, so this could pop here too. I know. This is that. This is. So I'll show you guys. I didn't take this. M R N A Moderna. Michael Romy and Avenger. There was clearly a cluster of trap sellers right here. Journal of Medicine. Uh, new study. Prostate shows the. We came right down into them. Induced robust SARS CoV2 neutralizing activity. Rapid protection in the upper and lower airways and no pathologic changes in the lung. Four weeks after the second injection, all them. The cats were exposed to SARS-CoV-2 via both the nose and the lungs. After two days, no replicating virus. Nice little fucking flip the there. We didn't get the value wrong. Michael Romeo, November Alpha. Hold on. Stupid. God damn it. I should have fucking took that. Then we had those calls being bought There's down here. Moderna getting a pop here. Fucking A. Uh, 8107, Michael Whoa. Romeo, November Alpha. Fucking A. 24 again. I got the open for ya, yeah, so. Uh, uh, no replicating virus is detectable in the lungs in seven out of the eight attacks. I'm gonna They're hit the head real fast. Yeah. God damn it.
think you need to stay below 572 on this last spike down. Well, I'll have to spike down, otherwise you'll be regaining it. So, <clears throat> Grand Q's leading the way. Obviously, it's below. I know. <laughs> Fucking crazy. Oh, thing. That was the Delta flip. A little late on that, but because we got it doing it after the fucking bar closes. It's 1, it's 1 a.m. Do you know where your children are? That bar's closed at like 3 now. <laughs> Ours, really? Everything in Chicago closes at 11 now. You can't really? buy. Yep, you can't buy alcohol at the liquor store past 9, or anywhere, even the grocery store past 9 o'clock. It's been so long, I don't know what. I'm just, it was weird. Like, I'm at the grocery store, and this lady was trying to buy a bottle of wine, and they're like, sorry, we can't sell it to you. It's 9.30, and she's like, why? It's my PR. Right now, on a circuit breaker, San Diego. I'll just drink it here. <laughs> right? I'm going to order a sandwich from the deli, the bottle of wine, and I'm good to go. It's a sale in, right? Fucking drive-in sale in. Yeah, that was a that was a cool little long there in the twenty five. Might have to start taking those a little bit more on smaller size when they don't exactly line up with one of my levels. This guy's trading hundred lots. I should probably fucking pay attention to what he's doing. Thirty-two twenty-five, thirty-two twenty-two twenty-five. Uh, six nine six ten is our THI. England General Medicine, uh, non-human primate preclinical viral challenge. Who is that? This trading hundred lots. This guy that we were telling you that uh, worked for the hedge fund. The guy who I used this Delta stuff that I got. He trades hundred and two hundred lots on the ES, and he uses this type of. He doesn't even look at a fucking bar chart. I made a comment about a bar chart and he laughed in my face. So he uses all Renko. <laughs> yeah, right. He uses all the Renko and the that stuff that I show you. Tomorrow at 8 a.m. Eastern Time. That's mRNA Moderna. This guy's trading super size. He'll put 200 on in a whack. We're now at 8182. Continuing to move higher now. Bart, I'm going to put this on the Twitch for you. You just see, I'm sure you know already. But look GSK, Goff, Sandy, this is Kilo, RTH GSK only. Shipping record number of these are these single prints. We still haven't technically touched these single the prints market, during the RTH session. Goff, yet. Sandy, Kilo, yeah. GMW, the Edward and yeah, tra you should have some traps. More fall activity, September. Buyers up to this last high as well. I do, at uh, 35.25. 
to that high. We don't have any coal yeah. activity. The company reporting after uh, after the close on Wednesday. <coughs> they kept doing the same thing on the low side as they popped up. Getting another here. Yeah, they were spiking to the high side. Ninety-two weeks last week and all the other BMW. Let's see if I can not get ran over here. Don't really have anything great looking on the fucking volume side, but doesn't mean it won't get a reaction here. They might just fucking run my ass over. Could come all the way down to 16. BMW, Genworth, now the August two and a half call sweep on Genworth. Golf November Whiskey. Shares getting $2.40 at the high. Well, I would say that this delta flip triggering after the bar after is a nice solid indicator if you're in a trade to fucking stay in a trade. That's the kind of reaction you got here. God damn it. There's fucking delta flip positive. Missed my fill. Went to 20. Let's see. Hey, baby. Hey, bye. You gotta be careful what I tell her. She'll put my nuts in a sling. <laughs> Getting back over the days open will take a lot. I know, it's at fucking 24. So I'm gonna take my first target at 22.50, which is right before the 23, which is the daily. And lose gain, and I'm gonna let that runner go and try to get 29.50. Um, it may never fucking make it that far, but if I get my first target, I'll be and then just let it go. I know a 30 minute candle looks nasty. The hour, too. I hate this volume, man. 27.25.7% down. Let's find out. may not like a lot of may nots. There we go. We 
actually touched my level that time. I front ran it by three ticks. Let's see if we can get a positive delta flow here. There we go. Yeah, get twenty two fifty. Can I get it? Can I get twenty two fifty? Twenty two twenty five is a fucking big deal. Wow. He came to my fucking there we go. Alright. I got this runner on boys. Just gonna let her go. I want 30. 2950. Let's go! This is probably where I should take it, but this is fucking our big ass fucking open right here. Let go! Tupac's still here. I thought you left Tupac. <laughs> 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 what the fuck? <laughs> he heard the crickets. He did. He couldn't deny the crickets. He I should... in from the bathroom. Oh man, 24 is probably. I'm probably going to give up these five fucking points. <laughs> my garden this fucking guy he's out there weeding yeah what's in your garden Tupac right uh, well boys it's a perfect example why we take our fucking levels right this is Went right up to 24. Now it's going to fucking give me two ticks. Nice. Yeah, it's some fucking bullshit, huh? Oh, two fox garden. Oh, sweet banana tomato. Tomato, tomato. This is where it needs to pop if it's going to do it. I knew I should have took that motherfucking 24. Every time I try to hold, man. That's some bullshit. I just gave up some fucking good money right there. That's some bullshit. I just gave up five points, fucking uh, Piper. Fuck. Fucking bullshit, man. Just gave up five points. 19 to 24. It's fucking. We're fucking shooting for five. Yeah, I, I have a bracket at five, too. I took my first one at five. I was fucking holding my runner for fucking way higher. I thought that it might fucking launch. Clearly did not. SP futures. Uh... I took five points on that first one. 19 to, I think I got a 2350 or 2250 or some shit. Ah, too advanced for me on the runner. Oh, yeah. Well, I clearly should have took it, man. Well, you can see it didn't work for me either. You know who I was trying to be like? I was trying to be like Scalposaurus. I was like, I'm going to do this like Scalposaurus because if he can do it, I can do it. And then you've seen what happened. <laughs> I know if Scalposaurus can do it, I can do it. Negative. I'm about to close this out. I'm out. I'm out of that short. Be right back, you fucker. Okay. I should have fucking probably held this shit. So I'll show you guys why I said it could probably come to 16. Um, you know, we've got massive amounts of buying and selling conflicting down here. That's why I wasn't too worried if I took a little heat on it, which I didn't. As you can see, it was almost to the tick play. I front ran it by three ticks. It went exactly touched the level and popped. 
but if we came down up in here to 15, I wasn't overly concerned. I guess I should have just left it. Thirty-five to eighteen. You think I didn't know that, bro? <laughs> Come on, Piper. You know I'm over here kicking myself in the face. See, but that's what I'm saying. This runner had the potential to do that, right? Had the potential to go all the way up there, but it didn't. So, had we done it on the other end, and we're like, "Damn, it's a good thing I left that runner." But when I try to do it on the other end, I get two ticks on my fucking runner. So, I'll be fucking John Brown if that shit didn't work out. Fucking crazy. But the misclick, because you're a misfit, 35 to 18, I know. I know. I know. <laughs> Almost 50. The process, though, I know, bro. I know I should have fucking took it. I know I should have took it. Coming up after the close. It is like double AM down. Apple I know. AMGN and to be honest with you, this was the leg. This was the leg that took us to this current high. So it's a very good possibility that it still might go. You know, just because. So for me, the invalidation point, the true invalidation point on this isn't until, isn't until 11. So until we get below here. This is technically still a valid trade for me. Um, I just play it a little tighter now than I used to. I used the five and a half point stop. So I would have stopped out prior to that happening. But this is technically still good for me, this, this leg start here. So we'll see. Scalposaurus can do it. I can do it. Yeah, yeah, I know, but you've got to have made enough to where that level would be a loss. It's true, but not only that, but I feel like I'm very happy with the five and a half point. Shaking positions out, I know. The five and a half points is pretty legit, right? You guys see how our levels play, right? Like, if it's a right level, it really doesn't take a lot of heat. 35, barely took any heat. This barely took any heat. I mean, no, I, I know what you're saying, bro. But I'm just saying, if you have the right level, you barely take any heat. So five and a half points is 22 ticks. If it goes 22 ticks, you probably don't have the right fucking level. So that's how I've figured, you know, that's kind of how I look at it. Because all the majority of my shit is, like, right on point. Like, it's either fucking hitting or it's not. You know, and if it hits... I'm getting a reaction right away. That's why when I come up to a level like 35 and we didn't fall right away, I was like, ooh, I'm a little scared. Yeah, exactly. I was a little scared, man, because I'm like, this motherfucker should be falling. And it did, and it didn't take any heat. It technically didn't give me any reason to get out. But, yeah, our, our levels are so on point. Look, we got a buy signal down here. I'm not saying that it's going to go, but. Ooh, and a sell signal. So, yeah, it is what it is. You know, but I would have looked like a boss if it went to 30. I would have been like, call me Scalposaurus. <laughs> I said earlier today, before this day even started, now I didn't think, well, I didn't know what it was going to do, but 35 was tits. I think we're going to see 3,200. I mean, we got to lose 16. This level's fucking monster. It's a monster. But I really think we see 3,200. I wouldn't short here, obviously. But I fucking got roasted so many times, as you guys know. Yesterday, I lost fucking 500 bucks. Today, I lost 300 bucks trying to fucking short this back test to 16. I am done shorting that motherfucker. So... It's got to really lose it and come back up for me to be interested. They might hold this, though. This is yesterday's open. You guys can't see it on here. I'll move this. This is yesterday's open. Maybe I should move this up here. 
I don't know what, what would be better for you guys visually. Probably, probably up here. I would not be the least bit surprised if they fucking pop this bitch. A translucent feet. Top right. Okay, top right works. Yeah, because if when it's in the bottom, you guys can't see what a lot of these levels are marked over here. So that, if that works. All right, so that was an option. Somebody just dumped a bunch of puts. It looks like I kind of want to fucking kind of want to get long, just like five micros. I'll probably fucking regret it, but. That's right, Scalposaurus is still long. Hopefully he got out of the higher. Man, I'm itching to fucking just put on five micros right here. Oh. Yeah, it's definitely going to go down some more. I just, I couldn't help myself. I put on five micros at 1550. Um, it's probably retarded, but I couldn't help myself. 3210, I know. It's probably going to continue to go down. Alrighty. Nice. Helping still. Yeah. Yeah, no, I'm out of my long. Well, I just added. I just. I had just, to Yep. I'm out, but I just got in again. Uh, I very, very small, only five micros. I'm long from 1550. I kind of had to take it because um, they have. I think you're into the single prints, except for we got a bad low right now. So this needs to. Uh, I see that. It should be good to 20 here, back up to 1920. I, I would think so. <clears throat> Otherwise, we need to. Get down to that 12 and re-enter back up to stay up otherwise this could be the time it starts pushing marlin i knew marlin was going to be here what up marlin it's the last hour marlin i i i this is just a i'm just fucking around marlin this is not a real a real long i just know that this this is a level that needs to be held um so that's why i was looking at it uh, pretty strongly so i knew you'd be here for the last hour This is probably a loss. I'm I'm gonna cut this at eleven seventy five. Oh, here we go. Yep, should you know nineteen twenty for sure back into those wicks. Maybe only eighteen fifty. Yeah, I'm I got just I'm just gonna try to take some off right here. There we go. Very low, so you're gaining it. There you go. Yep. Yeah. We'll just ride this up. It may not go anywhere. See if we can get back up to 22 on the runner. Maybe 20.50 on one of them. So when he, I'm a little lost on that. It held the lower V. What is he? So he's got it set up so that um, it shows the V. Wap highs and lows, like like deviations, right? So I'll show you. I'll put it. I'll put it up. I know what it is. Yeah. So he has bands in there. Yeah. Yeah. He's got the bands. I take the bands off because this is the only one I care about, but he's looking at all of it. So. 
Flat from 18 to 21. Yeah. So, flat from 18 to 20. So, the only reason that I'm, I just got stopped out of break even, guys. Uh, yeah, puts, Marlo, we're on the same page, too, this back and forth crap. You know, yeah. Who knows what? You know what's up, Marlon. So this is level that has to hold, guys. We know this. This is the only reason I took this long. Um, you know, we talked about how, technically speaking, this one hour for me wasn't invalid until we got down to 12. Um, this was a four-hour level, a daily level, a daily level, another four-hour. This is the four-hour pivot. Look, now it's going to go. So. Well, we're doing the same thing, okay? So for me, I don't have the screen on or whatever else, but if you look at this, a lot of times when we're in this balance, so from the high, it's it's actually, we gain it and lose uh, Monday's high. Right. right, right. And now what you're hitting again is this 14, even though we already played it, but that's actually the line. So that 14.5, yeah. right, is Thursday's low. So if we're going to go lower, we have to lose that. Yep. I agree, a thousand percent. To, I don't know how to explain it, but have that profiles in between other profiles this, to the left. This right is the profile. Thursday low he's talking about, guys, right here. So this is very much what we would, we would consider a swing low. So you have a swing low, a low, right? So you got to lose the swing low. Not only is that a swing low, but we've talked about this is that this is that pivot over here, that four hour support. Uh, which is also that glow back. It's the 16. It's fucking 16. We've talked about 16 for. Well, it's 14. The low is 14. Yeah, right, right. But yeah, you know what I'm saying. It's that area, right? So here we are jumping. Ryan, did I short the bottom? I did not. I was long the bottom pock. I took uh, four or five points on a few micros. Uh, nothing fucking serious. Uh, I made 127. It was a perfect skill. It was a perfect 14. Yeah into 19 or 20 perfect yeah you back in again or what no that's uh that is um this thing somebody oh. somebody just either dumped a bunch of calls or bought a, i mean puts or bought a bunch of puts that's that indicator not sure what it's who's doing what i'd have to pull up the time and sales let me look somebody just bought Continue moving relatively 30 45 puts. Looks like there's some put buying going on. And the 30 75 puts. And somebody's selling calls as well. So these guys are expecting a little bit lower, clearly. Yeah, Marlon, I got long, buddy, from fucking 18. It only took one of them off at 22 and a half. I knew 24 was where I should have took my other one. I let five points go like a goofball. Uh, but I was really trying to hold for the fucking bigger move. I really, really just want to fucking get 20 points. And I just didn't get it this time. I thought if I could just get above 24, I'd be uh, in bang. But... I think somebody called it back, called it Alvacad Dad. Uh, he said getting above today's open would be a real fucking chore, and he was exactly right. We certainly did not. Sold 14. Go ahead, Marlon. Marlon, I've got my fucking face banged a couple of times trying to fucking short this 16. I shorted it earlier and got my fucking head thumped. Not saying that it's not going to play this time. It's clearly, we've made a much larger move down. MOC was 250 million or so. What, what is it now then? If it was that, has it changed? 
MOC, 1.6 billion. There you go. Sell side. MOC is 1.6 billion. That's the sell side. We got more puts on this indicator, guys. Again, I don't know if this is guys getting out or what have you. I do know one thing's for sure. We came right into a area that I had marked for whatever reason. Uh, we have a cluster of trap sellers right here. Looks like we came right down in here. We have not flipped the delta yet, so it's not looking super confident. But interesting how you can see these guys are trapped. Right here, a little cluster of sellers. We came up, we got a reaction. I guess if you were short, it would be a good potential target. Oh seven is your target, Marlon. Good target, buddy. Good target. Oh seven twenty-five is yesterday's RTH low. Just as a heads up, if you didn't know. Well, Bart, my day didn't start out great, but it did end. It did end all right. I certainly wish I would have fucking took those extra five points, but and God bless it, Piper. If we'd have held this fucking short, my gracious. Let's just see what happens here, guys. I always like to see if these levels play out, because um, it's it's not really something that I. I don't really take these levels blindly unless they line up with something that I have. Um, because I learned this from another gentleman, I tend to mark things anyway and watch regardless. So this is that level, as you know, they, they carry over the drawings do. So let's just see what happens. You're going to start trading the first and last hour for the rest of the summer. It's probably not a bad idea. Coming up after the close, earnings from letter V Visa. That uh, should be about 4 p.m. 8 a.m. Akamai. Why did I have this? Oh, that was a two-hour. Oh, yeah, this is certainly on test. Starbucks at 4.05. eBay at 4.15. Uh, AMD at 4.25. All right, guys, if we come down to 3,200... Uh, we'll certainly be getting flat or uh, long there. I've got a level at 99.25, which means I'll get long at 30 at 3225. Market closes in five minutes. They wait till the last hour to have all the fun. Nice job, Marlon. That was two good trades in a row, buddy. Uh-oh, Tupac. We're making a ladle, son. Hey, Marlon. Tupac has a... Tupac made a name for a formation. You're going to love this. See this thing on the chart? He calls this the ladle. He said the ladle, the ladle brings the gravy. <laughs> uh, 
Plato brings the gravy. We just need somebody to bring the potatoes. <laughs> what the fuck is that? That's this <laughs> formation right here. He says, this is the ladle. The ladle brings the gravy, my friend. <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, <laughs> fucking A. <laughs> <laughs> Shake my goddamn head. Well, you missed it earlier. We had fucking cup and handles with teacups, and we ha and we had fucking all kinds. We had all kinds of formation calling going on in here. You would have had a heyday earlier. We had a fucking ladle right here. This ladle right here. This thing brought the gravy. <laughs> this one right here. <laughs> Come over and kick your ass. <laughs> You missed oh you missed all the good fucking ladle action. It's funny shit. Well guys, I said early this morning I thought we'd see thirty two hundred and here we fucking come. I didn't think it would be now. <laughs> uh certainly wish it was when we fucking first got underneath sixteen. Fucking I know where you live. Yeah, right. Oh man, you missed it this morning. It was funny. So I still didn't get filled on the gold, guys. I've got orders sitting right here at uh, 57.7. Never got filled. Yeah, could have held till the cash close. It's interesting, Marlon. I, I would like to talk to you more about how to trade MOC properly. I like that thought process um and you clearly have a lot of experience with with that side um, so i would love to talk with you more about that yeah cl is just fucking percolating too you see what we're doing right it's it's popping and dropping popping and dropping to fucking work its way down to the lake start probably when it gets down to 40 60 it's probably going to pop something ferocious yeah, it's it's they're just they're slowly working. They're slowing down momentum. Joe Biden says he will announce his vice that's they, president. That's how you know it's setting up for a pop. Focus. It's slowing down the momentum. You can see it in the ticks. You can see it in the thirty minute too, but especially in the ticks, they're slowing it down. If we just came screaming up in that motherfucker, it'd be different. But they're dropping and popping, dropping and popping, dropping and popping. So they're slowing it down. Yeah. Let's see. Look. This is the leg that we're targeting, right? So they keep making a new low, popping it up, making a new low, popping it up. What they're doing is they're slowing this down so that when we do get down here, that they can fucking pop it. Because if we just come screaming down in this bitch, it's never going to happen. Philadelphia so. schools to be all virtual until at least November 17th. Then transition to Ooh, look at that. Okay. Okay. Oh wait, played like a champ. Oh eight to fourteen and back down. STX Seagate reporting a dollar twenty. The estimate was a dollar twenty. Probably a short, a short right here. Five two billion is below estimate as well for STX. That retest of fourteen was nice. See, this is where I screwed up earlier today. We didn't really lose this low here, right? And so we, when we came down right here, I tried to get short and got took a small loss. Now we actually made a new low. Came back up. Now the fourteen sixteen was valid. I was just too ambitious. I really wanted this earlier. The delay isn't bad on Twitch. That's good. I think it's like two or three seconds, right? One and a half seconds? Damn, that's fast today. So
So guys, is there anybody that I missed? You guys had the uh, the coupon code. Is there anybody in here that's, that I missed? Because we had a nice group today. We have we've had over thirty people in here most of the day. So I just want to make sure that anybody who's been in here gets an opportunity to come in the Zoom room. Amgen, Amgen, Amgen reporting four dollars twenty five cents. The estimate was right. three dollars eighty two cents, and that's a B for Amgen, A M G N. I think we're good anyway here, guys. This day is over pretty much. I'm going to leave the stream on just for a few more minutes until uh, 315. So I just want to see if we get down to 3200, but you guys know what it is. It's been a good day. I had a solid day. A few losers today. Um, a lot of winners. So I hope everybody made money. Pac, I hope you got yourself out of that hole. If you didn't, tomorrow's another day, my friend. I definitely need to work on my holding as well. I let a lot go today. I let a lot of juice go. And when I did try to hold, I let five points come and stop me. I'm holding at the wrong times. So holding at the wrong times and not holding when I'm supposed to. Got to be more like the Scalposaurus. Marlon, by the way, I wanted to let you know I'm really enjoying the tick strike. I'm starting to see the value in it. AKAM Akamai Technologies, Alpha Kilo Alpha Michael. Akamai reporting 98 cents, revenue of 795 million for Alpha Kilo Alpha Michael. The estimate was $1.21, so that's short for Akamai AKAM. MXI M Maxim, Maxim reporting 70, uh, 58 cents, that's a penny beat for Maxim, Michael X Ray India, Michael. Revenue of 545 million is a beat for Maxim, integrated products, Michael X Ray India, Michael. Shares of FireEye are spiking here now, FireEye getting $14. 90 cents close at 13.38 after their earnings report. FireEye uh, says platform cloud subscription and managed services annualized recurring revenue of 302 million and then Q2 increased 27 percent. That's FEY and FireEye getting a copy after their earnings. CSB, Carbobal Victor, Carbobal Fox Club Victor, and the top here following their report. Uh, $5.49, big five for 40 goods. Big five reporting 52 cents. Sales of 227.9 million on BTFZ. Big Five says it believes it's reasonable to expect same for sales of the remainder of FY 2020 Q3 to increase in the range of 5 to 15 percent. Reinstates its quarterly cash dividend. Level Golf Fox Truck Victor is in the top now. $5.85 on BTFZ. SPUX Starbucks, Starbucks reporting a loss of 46 cents for SPUX Starbucks. You guys snag that promo code and yes, save that promo code. You're going to need that. So better than so. expected. Power than expected loss for Starbucks. Revenue of 4.2 billion is above estimate for Starbucks and CUX. Starbucks popping here at 75, 76.25 now. Uh, shares up about $1.50. On the close on that. 
Gillis reporting a loss of seven cents, one from the two cent loss charge expected for Alpha Golf Yankee Sandy. SNOA, Sonoma Pharmaceuticals, and Microsafe Group announced that Microsafe disinfected and sanitized the manufacturing using Sonoma's MicroSyn technology successfully passed. Material compatibility testing for both Airbus and Boeing International Transport Aircraft. That's Denny, November, Oscar, Alpha, and then OA.
All right, guys. I think that's it for the day. It's been real. It's been fun. It's been a pleasure. Uh, I hope everybody made money today. Um, everybody did a very nice job from what I could see. I uh, appreciate everybody tuning in. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, I'm going to be here the rest of the week. And, uh, you know, send me a direct message if I don't have your information already. Um, I'd love to get you on the Discord, and my, obviously as a friend, and then um, so we can always stay, stay linked together. And then uh, I also put this promo code up in here so that you guys can join the Zoom meetings for a couple of weeks for free. Um, I think that uh, you'd be missing out if you didn't do that. It's gonna be it's gonna be good. So a bunch of like-minded guys in here talking. There's a lot of conversation that takes place behind the scenes. Obviously, there's a lot of stuff that we do in the free side that we don't. Uh, or a lot of stuff on the on the Discord side that we don't talk about on the free side. So. Be good, Piper. It's been fun, brother. Hope you made some money. Uh, I know that you got a few few scalpy scalps in there. So, talk to you guys later.